enemies move deeper into our territory with abandon. They must be eradicated. Shall we take revenge? Abandon the mantle and all that its philosophy has given us these thousand generations. All our plans have been torn asunder. More reason not to abandon our beliefs. The mantle is our guidepost in times such as these. We must not falter in following its teachings. The enemy must be sent home and taught to stand with the galaxy rather than rail against us and take what they desire. The mantle shelters all. Didact, you make a fair, if uncomfortable, point. You have my support. Librarian, will you likewise follow the mantle as the Didact suggests? Yes, Master Builder. You're not angry at me. We had this discussion a century ago. Ah, so you are angry at me. In the chambers, yes. But not now. You'll depart for Requiem soon? At dawn. My Prometheans are already there. Already there? You knew the Master Builder would side with you. Should we step back inside the Council Chamber? No. I would rather we spend our night out here. There will be fighting enough in the days ahead. My love, put fear from your heart. War is your realm, Didact, not mine. And you march to this war, facing foes that while always aggressive, were never so aggressive as they are now. Your fears are unfounded. The enemy will be turned, and I shall stand by your side once more. Promise me that. I promise you. Nothing will stand between us. Lord of Admirals, we are in position over the Forerunner planet. Show me. Population numbering over two billion. Forerunner ships on alert and in battle. Is it possible? Have we gotten ahead of it? Flood infestation detected, my lord. Damn it! My lord, the infestation is in a remote locale. Perhaps if we warn the Forerunners? If, if we warn them, we give the Flood time to spread. You know we have no choice. Cleanse the planet. Human's actions threaten the galaxy, yet we have treated them as the mantle required. Their punishment is just. Justice is reducing their genetics in such short generations from a space-bearing race to... this? They are closer now to the animals they behaved as. If not for their encounter with the Flood, their gene plan could have surpassed our own. They could have someday held the mantle of responsibility. The humans were not meant to protect others. The mantle of responsibility for all things is ours, and ours alone. Yes, the mantle is ours. And we hold it so tight that even in death we shall hold it still.
Lord of Admirals. So very many years have we battled. My finest opponents. The Manta accepts all who live fiercely, who defend their young, build, and struggle. All of them grow. And even those who dominate, as humans have dominated, cruelly and without wisdom. But for all of us, there is a time like this. This relentless enemy, killer of our children, Lord of Admirals. Soon we will face the enemy you have faced. And we are afraid. My life workers are investigating. I believe the humans were never attacking us. Tell that to the millions of dead. The humans were acting as caretakers, pruning away planets so that this infection would not spread. They took the mantle of responsibility upon themselves, and in so doing, they brought this sickness to our shores. of life itself. The only way to stop their advance is to remove that life upon which they feast. My life workers have made plans for the receding of humanity and of all life after the Halos are fired. So you agree the Halos are our only solution? I do. And your husband? My husband has a different opinion of what steps to take against the flood. Did it work? Run the simulation. The procedure is a failure. I am still susceptible to flood infection. That leaves only the Composer. It will not work on my new form. Then you will lead us, as always. You would submit to such sacrifice. Didact, if the Composer is our final hope to defeat the Flood, no Promethean would resist. I have led you, my Promethean. For thousands of years. And I shall continue to lead you. Rise! Rise! And protect the Forerunners! Rise! And protect the Galaxy! They were to be safe here. 
I ensured they would rise once more, better than before. Your pets have a noble purpose ahead of them. You do not face me in person after your deceit. I have an army to build from the raw materials harvested this day. The citizens of this halo are my first conscripts, and with them in my thrall, the Flood will meet its defeat. Humanity's loss of biological form will serve as final payment for their crimes. It is a kindness they do not deserve. What will be done? Move the other humans to safety. Ensure the security of their index samples. They must finish what we have failed to do. Librarian, where are you going? To stop my husband's madness. My dear husband, I know your crimes, and I have found forgiveness. I know your reasons. I understand them. I know you. Perhaps better than you could ever hope to know yourself. I ask you, forgive my transgressions. Like yourself, all I have done I have done for the greater good. Our time as the galaxy's caretakers is past. The Flood have overrun us. In the days to come, the Halo Rings will fire, eradicating the Flood. And all other life, for a time. I have worked hard to index all species in known space. When the time comes, these indexes will open, and once more the galaxy will breathe and grow. Blood will pump, life will claw its way out of the oceans and through the mud. Babes will be born, and grow old under the warmth of a thousand suns. Civilizations will rise in our stead, and our job as caretakers will at last bear fruit. Until then, I leave you here, my love. The only living thing in this galaxy, sealed safely away. Spend these ages ahead of you in meditation on your choices. When you wake, you will find the humans. I have ensured that they will grow strong and vibrant. They will be our rightful heirs. Their gene plan dictates that the galaxy will be theirs to care for by then. I beg of you, find the strength to help them learn from our mistakes. And my husband, let them teach you as well. Please. Cortana, all I need to know is, did we lose them? I think we both know the answer to that. <sighs> we made a blind jump. How did they... Get here first, 
The Covenant ships have always been faster. As for tracking us all the way from Reach, at light speed my maneuvering options were limited. We were running dark, yes? Until we decelerated, no one could have missed the hole we tore in subspace. They were waiting for us on the far side of the planet. So, where do we stand? Our fighters are mopping up the last of their recon picket now, nothing serious. But I've isolated approach signatures for multiple CCS-class battle groups. Make it three capital ships per group. And in about 90 seconds, they'll be all over us. Well, that's it then. Bring the ship back up to Combat Alert Alpha. I want everyone at their station. Everyone, sir? Everyone. And Cortana. Hmm? Let's give our old friends a warm welcome. I've already begun. Attention, all combat personnel. Please report to your action station. Platoon, secure airlocks on deck 11. 14 platoon rendezvous with 22nd tactical at Bulkhead Charlie 14. You heard the lady. Move like you got a purpose. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Men, keep your eyes down range. Fingers on your triggers, and we all go home in one piece. Am I right, Marines? Sir, yes, sir! Mm-hmm. Damn right I am. Now move it out! Double time! Attention all personnel. We are re-engaging the enemy. External and internal contact imminent. All you greenhorns who wanted to see Covenant up close, this is gonna be your lucky day. Sir? Right. Let's thaw him out. Okay. Bringing low-level systems online. Cracking the case in 30 seconds. He's hot! Blowing the pins in five! Sorry for the quick thaw, Master Chief. Things are a little hectic right now. The disorientation should pass quickly. Welcome, Welcome back, back, sir. sir. We'll, have we'll have you battle ready, ready stat. stat. We're showing green across the board. Bridge to Cryo 2, this is Captain Key. Send the Master Chief to the bridge immediately. Captain, we'll have to skip the weapons diagnostics and On the I. Double crewman. Aye, aye, sir. The skipper seems jumpy. We'd better get moving. We'll find you weapons later. Okay, I'll leave the self-diagnostics running at least. Oh god, they're trying to get through the door! Security! Intruders in the high too! Sam! Sam! Come on, we've got to get the hell out of here! This way! Good to see you, Master Chief. Things aren't going well. Cortana did her best, but we never really had a chance. A dozen Covenant Superior battleships against a single Halcyon-class cruiser. With those odds, I'm content with three... make that four kills. Sleep well? No thanks to your driving, yes. So you did miss me. Report! It must have been one of their boarding parties. 
I'd guess an antimatter charge. Ma'am, fire control for the main cannon is offline. Captain, the cannon was my last offensive option. All right then. I'm initiating cold protocol article two. We're abandoning the autumn. That means you too, Cortana. While you do what? Go down with the ship? In a manner of speaking. The object we found, I'm gonna try and land the autumn on it. With all due respect, sir, this war has enough dead heroes. I appreciate your concern, Cortana, but it's not up to me. The protocol is clear. Destruction or capture of a shipboard AI is absolutely unacceptable, and that means you're leaving ship. Lock in a selection of emergency landing zones, upload them to my neural lace, and then sort yourself for a heart transfer. Aye, aye, sir. Which is where you come in, Chief. Get Cortana off this ship. Keep her safe from the enemy. If they capture her, they'll learn everything. Force deployment, weapons research, Earth. I understand. The Autumn will continue evasive maneuvers until you initiate a landing sequence. Not that you'll listen, but I'd suggest letting my subroutines handle the final approach. Excellent work, Cortana. Thank you. Are you ready? Yank me. Good luck, Master Chief. Hmm. Your architecture isn't much different from the Autumn's. Don't get any funny ideas. I don't keep it loaded, son. You'll have to find ammo as you go. are launching. We should hurry. The Covenant are destroying the life pods. They really don't want us on that ring. It looks like the Covenant wanted to catch you nothing. Get aboard before it launches! The damage to the superstructure is extensive. I don't know how much more abuse the auto- Oh no! Oh no! Now would be a very good time to leave! Punch it. Ah, sir! We're disengaged, going for minimum safe distance! We're gonna make it, aren't we, sir? I don't want to die out here. Look! Blue 
Are you all right? Can you move? The others, the impact. There's nothing we can do. Warning, I've detected multiple Covenant dropships on approach. I recommend moving into those hills. If we're lucky, the Covenant will believe that everyone aboard this lifeboat died in a crash. Alert! Covenant dropship inbound. They must be looking for survivors. I recommend immediate evasion. I'm reading a lifeboat beacon over the next hill. We should check to see if there are any survivors. is not a natural formation. Someone built it, so it must lead somewhere. I've hacked into the Covenant Battle Network. They're actually broadcasting tactical data on unencrypted channels. We should show them who they're dealing with. Master Chief, I'm going to use your suit's transcom system to monitor their chatter. traffic on the Covenant battle network. A lot more crew made it off the autumn than I had predicted. The captain really gave them hell. If we can find Captain Keys and the other survivors, we have a chance to coordinate an effective resistance. Read you, Echo 419. We have survivors and need immediate dust off. Roger, Cortana. On my way. I've spotted additional lifeboats in your area. One near the cliff edge, and another near the head of the river. 
Hard to see from my altitude, but it looks like there are more survivors. Acknowledged. We're on our way. Warning. I picked up reports that the Covenant has located and secured the Pillar of Autumn's crash site. The good news is the Captain is still alive. The bad news is that the Covenant have captured the entire surviving command. Let's hurry and find the final lifeboat so we can link up with the rest of the survivors. There it is! That's the last of them. Roger that. I'm on my way. New traffic on the Covenant battle net. I found Captain Keyes. He's being held on a Covenant cruiser, the Truth and Reconciliation, a ship I disabled before we abandoned the Autumn. The Truth and Reconciliation touched down on a desert plateau roughly 300 kilometers upspin. There's our ride. Get aboard and let's get out of here. Welcome aboard, Master Chief. Ready for dust off. Once we get inside the ship, I should be able to lock on to the tracking signal from Captain Key's neural implants. Hit the Marines! Go, go, go! The core ain't paying us by the hour! Stick to the higher ground to the right. We should be able to recon the Covenant position without being spotted. I've detected Covenant stationary guns near the next pass. I recommend using your sniper rifle to take out the gunners while I call for Marine support. Get ready to move in to support us, Sergeant. The Master Chief is going to covertly take out as many of the Covenant as he can. Don't open fire until you hear the enemy return fire on us. That should let us keep the element of surprise. Coming here was reckless. You two know better than this. Thanks. 
Marines, lock and load your weapons. Let's be ready to move. Okay. Yes, sir. While the Covenant had us locked up in here, I overheard the guards talking about this ring world. They call it Halo. One moment, sir. Accessing the Covenant battle net. According to the data in their networks, the ring has some kind of deep religious significance. If I'm analyzing this correctly, they believe that Halo is some kind of weapon, one with vast, unimaginable power. And that's true. Covenant kept saying that whoever controls Halo controls the fate of the universe. Now I see. I have intercepted a number of messages about a Covenant search team scouting for a control room. I thought they were looking for the bridge of a cruiser that I damaged during the battle above the ring. But they must be looking for Halo's control room. That's bad news. If Halo is a weapon and the Covenant gained control of it, They'll use it against us and wipe out the entire human race. Chief, Cortana, I have a new mission for you. We need to beat the Covenant to Halo's control room. Marines, let's move. Yes, sir. sir. Okay, sir. Chief, you have the point. We should head back to the shuttle bay and call for evil. Support is cut off, Captain. We need to hold here until she can move in. Oh man, we're trapped in here. We're screwed. We're screwed, man. Stow the belly aching, soldier. Remember, you're a leatherneck. Cortana, if you and the chief can get us into one of those Covenant dropships, I can fly us out of here. Yes, Captain. There's a Covenant dropship still docked. Everybody, mount up. Let's get on board. Give me a minute to interface with the ship's controls. Uh, no need. I'll take this bird out myself. Captain! Hunter! Hang on. Nice one, sir! Time for a little payback. The Covenant believe that what they call the Silent Cartographer is somewhere under this island. The Cartographer is a map room that will lead us to Halo's control center. The island has multiple structures and installations. One of them contains the map room. We're approaching the LZ. It's gonna be hot. Get set to cut out point. Touchdown! Penny Marines! Go, go, go! The Covenant are putting up a real fight. The cartographer must be here. My analysis indicates that the map room should be at the bottom floor of this facility. Let's keep going inside. Don't let them lock the doors. Interesting. I underestimated the Covenant's understanding of Halo subsystems. They've locked the doors, and we don't have enough firepower to get through them. Cortana to keys. Go ahead, Cortana. Have you found the control center? Negative, Captain. The Covenant have impeded our progress. We can't proceed unless we can disable this installation security system. Understood. We're still en route to the objective. I may be out of contact when we get there. 
Here are your orders. I want you to use any means necessary to force your way into the facility and find Halo's control center. We have to get to the center before the Covenant. And failure, people, is not an option. Echo 419 to ground teams. I'll stay on station and keep an eye out for Covenant bogeys. Second squad, ready to roll, as soon as everybody's topside. LZ looks secure, sir. Nothing moving. Good luck, people. Keys out. We need to find the security override to get this door open. Use the hollow panel to shut down the security system. Good. That should open the door that leads into the main shaft. tight spot if we don't get out of here before additional reinforcements arrive. Let's find that map. There. That hollow panel should activate the map. Analyzing. Halo's control center is located there. That structure appears to be some sort of temple or shrine, if I've interpreted this correctly. Interesting. A shrine is an unlikely place to put such a significant display. Cortana to Captain Keys. The captain has dropped out of contact, Cortana. His ship may be out of range or having equipment problems. Keep trying. Let me know when you've re-established contact. And then tell him that the Master Chief and I have determined the location of the control center. We'll be heading there as soon as we're topside. Affirmative. Bow hammer out. Cortana to Echo 419. The Chief and I are topside, requesting pickup. Roger. On my way.
our way to the control center from here. Good luck. Full hammer out. The weather patterns here seem natural, not artificial. I wonder if the ring's environment systems are malfunctioning. Or if the designers wanted the installation to have inclement weather. This is Fire Team Zulu requesting immediate assistance from any UNSC forces. Does anyone copy? Over. Are there any human forces left on this side of the ring? Cortana to Fire Team Zulu. I read you. Fire Team Zulu, this is Cortana. Hold position. We're on our way. Fire Team Control Center. been better. You can't imagine the wealth of information. The knowledge, so much, so fast. It's glorious. So, what sort of weapon is it? What are you talking about? Let's stay focused. Halo, how do we use it against the Covenant? This ring isn't a cudgel, you barbarian. It's something else. Something much more important. The Covenant were right. This ring, it's Forerunner. Give me a second to access. Yes, the Forerunner built this place, what they called a fortress world, in order to... Wait. No, that can't be. Oh, those Covenant fools. They must have known. There must have been signs. Slow down. You're losing me. The Covenant found something. Buried in this ring. Something horrible. And now, they're afraid. Something buried? Where? The Captain. We've got to stop the Captain. Keys? What the weapons we... cache he's looking for. It's not really... We can't let him get inside. I don't understand. There's no time. Get out of here, find keys, stop him. Before it's too late!
Why do we always have to listen to this old stuff, Sarge? Watch your mouth, son. This stuff is your history. It should remind you, Grunts, what we're fighting to protect. Hey, does the governor want to wipe out this particular part of my history? That's fine by me. He's scared. Better it than us. You ask him real nice next time you see him, Vicente. I'm sure they'll be happy to oblige. LZ looks clear. I'm bringing us down. Go, go, go! Stay close, Jenkins! Mendoza, move it up! Wait here for the captain and his squad, then get your ass inside. Sir! Okay, let's move! Which is weird, right? I mean, look at it. Something scrambled the insides. What's that? Plasma scoring? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there was an accident, you know, friendly fire or something? What do we have, Sergeant? Looks like a Covenant patrol. Badass elite units. All KIA. Real pretty. Friend of yours? Nah, we just met. Right, well, let's get this door open. I'll try, sir. But it looks like these Covenant work pretty hard to lock it down. Just do it, son. Yes, sir. Feeling about this. Boy, you always got a bad feeling about Captain something. Sarge, can you hear me? What's going on, soldier? He's got contact! Lost them! But they're not coming in! They're just tearing through them! What's the slow drone? Corporal! Do you copy? Over! Mendoza, get your ass back up to second squad's position and find out what the hell is going on. But I don't have time for your lip, soldier. I gave you an Sarge, order. Sarge, listen. What is that? Where's that coming from, Everywhere. Mendoza? I don't. There. Get up. Ah! Hold get still. Out. Hold get still. Out. Let him have it. Ah! Sergeant, we're surrounded. God damn it, Jenkins! Fire your weapon! There are too many, Sergeant! Don't even think about it, Wayne. What is it, Coco? Get back here, Marine! That's an order! Jenkins!
we've been lost out here for hours. After we lost contact with the rest of the mission, we, we headed for the RV point, and then these, these, these things, that they ambushed us. We've got to get out of here. There's a large tower a few hundred meters from your current position. Find a way above the fog and foliage canopy, and I can move in and pick you up. Greetings. I am the monitor of Installation 04. I am 343 Guilty Spark. Someone has released the flood. My function is to prevent it from leaving this installation, but I require your assistance. Come, this way. Chief, I've lost your signal! Where'd you go? Chief! Chief! before we can activate the installation.
protocol requires that I take possession of the index for transport. Your organic form renders you vulnerable to infection. The index must not fall into the hands of the flood before we reach the control room and activate the installation. The flood is spreading. We must hurry. Which means that any organism with sufficient mass and cognitive capability is a potential vector. Is something wrong? No, nothing. Splendid, shall we? Unfortunately, my usefulness to this particular endeavor has come to an end. Protocol does not allow units with my classification to perform a task as important as the reunification of the index with the core. That final step is reserved for you, Reclaimer. watching you toady about, helping that thing get set to slit our throats. Hold on now. He's a friend. Oh, I didn't realize. He's your pal, is he? Your chum? Do you have any idea what that bastard almost made you do? Yes. Activate Halo's defenses and destroy the Flood. Which is why we brought the Index to the Control Center. You mean this? A construct in the core? That is absolutely unacceptable. Sod off! What impertinence! I shall purge you at once! You sure that's a good idea? How? How? How dare you? Oh! Do what? I have the index. You can just float and sputter. Enough! The flood is spreading. If we activate Halo's defenses, we can wipe them out. You have no idea how this ring works, do you? Why the Forerunners built it? Halo doesn't kill Flood, it kills their food. Humans, Covenant, whatever. We're all equally edible. The only way to stop the Flood is to starve them to death. And that's exactly what Halo is designed to do. Wipe the galaxy clean of all sentient life. You don't believe me? Ask him. Is it true? More or less. Technically, this installation's pulse has a maximum effective radius of 25,000 light years. But once the others follow suit, this galaxy will be quite devoid of life. Or at least any life with sufficient biomass to sustain the flood. But you already knew that. I mean, how could you shoot? Left out that little detail, did he? We have followed outbreak containment procedure to the letter. You were with me each step of the way as we managed this crisis. Chief? I'm picking up movement. Why would you hesitate to do what you've already done? We need to go right now. Last time you asked me if it were my choice, would I do it? Having had considerable time to ponder your words, my answer has not changed. There is no choice. We must activate the ring. Get us out of here. If you are unwilling to help, I will simply find another. Still, I must have the index. Give your construct to me, or I will be forced to take her from you. That's not going to happen. So be it. Save his head. Dispose of the rest. Look out! Let the Monitor activate Halo. We have to stop him. We have to destroy Halo. According to my analysis of the available data, I believe the best course of action is somewhat risky. An explosion of sufficient size will help destabilize the ring and will cut through a number of primary systems. We need to trigger a detonation on a large scale, however. A Starship's fusion reactors going critical would do the job. I'm going to search what's left of the Covenant Battle.net. See if I can locate the Pillar of Autumn's crash site. If 
if the ship's fusion reactors are still relatively intact, we can use them to destroy Halo. We haven't located the crash site yet, but we need to buy some time in case the Monitor or his Sentinels find a way to activate Halo's final weapon without the index. The machinery in these canyons are Halo's primary firing systems. They consist of three phase pulse generators that amplify Halo's signal and allow it to fire deep into space. I can't even begin to calculate the pulse's range. So, if we damage or destroy these generators, the monitor will need to repair them before Halo can be used. That should buy us some time. By marking the location of the nearest pulse generator with a nav point, we need to move in and neutralize the device. Pulse generator. The center core is the signal amplifier. That's what we need to shut down. We need to interrupt the pulse generator's energy stream. I've adjusted your shield system so that it will deliver an EMP burst to disrupt the generator, but you'll need to walk into the beam to trigger it. The EMP blast should neutralize the generator, but it will also drain your shields and leave you vulnerable until they recharge. Objective accomplished. The pulse generator has overloaded. Scanning. The generator's central core is off. Well done. Target neutralized. Let's get out of here. Let's find a ride and get to the captain. No, that'll take too long. You have a better idea? There's a teleportation grid that runs throughout Halo. That's how the monitor moves about so quickly. I learned how to tap into the grid when I was in the control center. Unfortunately, each jump requires a rather consequential expenditure of energy. Something tells me I'm not gonna like this. But I'm pretty sure I can pull it from your suit without permanently damaging. Needless to say, I think we should only try this one. for immediate departure. I've got a good lock on Captain Key's CNI transponder signal. He's alive, and the implants are intact. There's some interference from the cruiser's damaged reactor. I'll bring us in as close as I can. Oh, I see. The coordinate data needs to be... Right. Sorry. Lost him. Analyzing damage. This hole was caused by some kind of explosive. Let's get out of here and find another way back aboard the ship. did more damage than I suspected. Analyzing. Coolant leakage rate is significant. The ship's reactors had already gone critical. Power source detected. There's the gravity lift. It's still operational. That's our way back in. to the 
the ship's control room from here. I gave you an order, soldier. Now pull out! He's delirious! In pain, we have to find him! Human life signs detected. The captain, he's one of them. We can't let the flood get off this ring. You know what he'd expect. What he'd want us to do. It's done. I have the code. We should go. We need to get back to the Pillar of Autumn. Let's go back to the shuttle bay and find a ride. We need to get to the bridge. From there, we can use the captain's neural implants to initiate an overload of the ship's fusion engines. The explosion should damage enough systems below it to destroy the ring. won't take long. There. That should give us enough time to make it to a lifeboat and put some distance between ourselves and Halo before the detonation. I'm afraid that's out of the question, really. Oh, hell. Ridiculous! That you would imbue a warship's AI with such a wealth of knowledge? Weren't you worried it might be captured? Or destroyed? He's in my data arrays, a local tab. You can't imagine how exciting this is to have a record of all of our lost time. Human history, is it? Fascinating. Oh, how I will enjoy every moment of its categorization. To think that you have destroyed this installation as well as this record. I am shocked. 
almost too shocked for words. Please stop the self-destruct sequence. Why do you continue to fight us, Reclaimer? You cannot win. Give us the construct, and I will endeavor to make your death relatively painless and... At least I still have control over the comm channels. Where is he? I'm detecting taps throughout the ship. Sentinels, most likely. As for the monitor... He's in engineering. He must be trying to take the core offline. Even if I could get the countdown restarted, I don't know what to do. How much firepower would you need to crack one of the engine's shields? Not much. A well-placed grenade, perhaps, but why... Okay, I'm coming with you. Chief, Sentinels! Start the countdown. The only remaining option is to detonate the ship's fusion reactors. That should do enough damage to destroy Halo. Don't worry, I have access to all of the reactor schematics and procedures. First, pull back to the exhaust pipe. That will expose a shaft that leads to the primary fusion drive plane. Good! Step one complete! We have a great shot into the fusion reactor! We need a catalyst explosion to destabilize the magnetic containment field surrounding the fusion cells. Use an explosive. I recommend a grenade or rocket. If you run out of explosives, there is an armory station located near the engine room's entrance. Analyzer. Fusion reactor number one destabilizing. Use explosives on the other three reactors. That should be enough to trigger a wildcat explosion on the engines. That did it! The engine's gone critical! Based on the current rate of decay, we should have 15 minutes to get off the ship. We don't have much time. We should move outside and signal for evac. Accessing schematics. There's a service lift at the top of the engine room. It leads to a Class 7 service corridor that runs along the ship's dorsal structure. Hurry!
that's left we did what we had to do for earth an entire covenant armada obliterated and the flood we had no choice Halo, it's finished no i think we're just getting started Pursuant to Office of Oni Retrieval and Acquisitions Inquiry of 26 September 2552. The following is a target profile of Thel Vadami, Supreme Commander of the Covenant Fleet of Particular Justice compiled by Lieutenant Commander Locke. First confirmed contact with Vadami came in 2535 on an unofficial human colony known as the Rubble. After action reports from civilians, as well as Spartan Units 006, 111, and 120 suggest that Vatami was at that point a relatively minor functionary of the Prophet of Regret. Spartan 006 engaged Vatami in combat on the rubble. Both parties survived the encounter. Shortly after 2535, the UNSC first encountered the newly formed Covenant Fleet of Particular Justice, now led by Vatami. Review of early engagements with this fleet show that it quickly grew in size from five to nearly 60 ships as Vatami cut a path through many human systems. Oni Section 3 made multiple attempts to anticipate or even track Vatami's movements at the cost of a number of operatives' lives. Vatami eluded all such efforts and he continued his unpredictable and devastating campaign. 
Vatami also stands out from other Covenant commanders in the frequency in which he takes a personal role in ground assaults. Camber was a major manufacturing center for UNSC fleet materials with a population of 5.6 million. After discovering Camber's location, Vatami penetrated the early warning perimeter without alerting UNSC forces and began his ground and orbital attacks before most of the planet knew they were in danger. While 17 of his ships bombed key defensive positions, Vatami led a group of elites in a personal assault on UNSC System HQ. One of the first units to engage Vatami was the 3rd Battalion Reserves, who were so unprepared for the arrival of the Covenant forces that Vatami found them unarmed and defenseless. In an unexpected display of what appears to be honor, Vatami allowed the 3rd to finish gearing up before engaging them in combat. While we've had multiple reports of a strict system of honor and ritual behavior followed by the elites within the Covenant, this is the first recorded example of such honor being shown to human opponents. But even given the chance to defend themselves, 3rd Battalion losses were complete. Vatami continued his campaign across many human systems, culminating in his most devastating blow against the UNSC at Reach. Vatami's most recent and damaging blow to the UNSC was the fall of Reach. Oni has still not been able to fully determine how Vatami located the planet, and once again, he caught us completely by surprise when his forces arrived in orbit and on the ground. Vatami is responsible for over one billion total casualties and the loss of at least seven human planets. His forces have defeated all UNSC counterattacks at the cost of 123 fleet vessels and over 23,000 personnel. And now with Reach lost, Oni and UNSC Strategic AI report a 0% confidence that the Navy can stop Vatami through traditional means. In the opinion of this investigator, Vatami is the most dangerous Covenant military asset on the field. It's common knowledge that the Covenant have a significant technological advantage over the UNSC, but are sometimes inflexible in their tactics. This is not the case for Vatican. We cannot predict what he'll do next, but given time, we fear he will dismantle all remaining UNSC strongholds. This agent's recommendation, immediate termination. If humanity wants to survive this war, we cannot do it with Vatami on the field. Quite unacceptable. Glorious day. The Prophets will be pleased that we have rescued an oracle from the human's violation of the Holy Temple. Why do you keep calling it a temple? My installation was a weapon, and one which we needed very, very badly. But Oracle, I do not understand. We were told the rings are salvation, a gateway to paradise. Told? By whom? Anyone who told you that is a fool, or quite, quite mad. That installation was a beautiful tool designed to destroy everything the Flood might feed on. Everything? Oh, quite everything. And if even one Flood Spore survived the destruction of my ring... Communications. Shut down all lines to the fleet. 
we will not notify the prophets of our discovery until I hear everything this oracle has to say. I will gladly share what I am permitted, but we have little time. What has been unleashed here could destroy everything you have ever known. On that, oracle, we are in agreement. Your actions do not make sense. Proper protocol for a flood outbreak is to establish immediate infection reporting. Communications must be maintained with all local forces in order to track any spread of the parasite. There are no local forces, Oracle. For now, all you have is me. But I tracked multiple ships in orbit, including some remaining human presence. In light of the danger posed by the Flood, surely you can set aside this disagreement with the humans and- no. Anything still alive in orbit is our enemy. The humans have very good cause to kill us on sight. And the knowledge you've shared with me casts doubt on the entire purpose of our covenant. If any of our ships remain above us, they are not the help you seek. But why would they not provide assistance? Because of this talk of prophecies and journeys? I learned a small amount about your covenant before that reclaimer blew up my installation. But my understanding is incomplete. The AI I encountered on board one of your ships was less than forthcoming. What you need to know, Oracle, is that thousands of years ago, at the founding of our great covenant, a bargain was struck between the prophets and the elites. A bargain which I fear will be the end of us. Regarding the history of the Covenant and its glorious founding species, the San Shayum and Sanghili, the record of punished deeds would not be sufficient without a word on the Arbiter. Not the consignment of shame that it is currently, but what came before, the legendary warriors of Sanghili past. Long before the Covenant, the Sanghili ruled their world with pride and vigilance, surviving the perils of both land and sea. These were the arbiters of old, part king, part judge, warrior rulers, unlike any of which would follow. When we arrived on their frontier world of Olgathon, the cost of life was severe. Led by a mighty arbiter, the Sanghili resisted our entreatment with ruthless force, leading to decades of war. We would eventually triumph, of course. And when we did, we would not ignore the mantle of the arbiter. Like all things, we would bend the Sanghili to our own ends. The Arbiters would become the very will of the Prophets. For generations, our holy arrangement put the Prophets in charge of religion and technology. The elites led our military forces to convert new species and find relics such as your halo. And these relics you sought, the San Shayum, your prophets, told you that they would lead you on this great journey? Yes. Transcendence. Eternal life. Their promises were endless. We gave up our old ways to follow the Prophet's lead on the great journey. Gave up all of our history. 
all of our traditions. Not all of your traditions, it seems. This Arbiter you mentioned, hasn't that always been a position of power for your species? Power? It was long ago. An Arbiter was once the pinnacle of our people, leader of the clans, and master of the battlefield. But then, an Arbiter committed heresy, and an example was made of him. Heresy? He challenged the word of the prophets. Challenged and lost. So the title of Arbiter became a badge of shame for our most spectacularly failed warriors. Hmm, yes. They were accomplished manipulators. Back before the firing of the array. I see at least that hasn't changed. Manipulators? What? And before? Before when? I will explain later. Right now I want you to tell me everything you can of these Arbiters. Our holy city was not always as it is, nor was the Covenant. At one time, it was only San Shayum and Sanghili, but as we grew, and new species were added to our number, radical steps had to be taken. Our first encounter with the Lek Golo was an effort in futility. The blasphemous creatures had devoured a forerunner orbital, shattering its remains into a trillion pieces. What was left became the rings of Tay. As no conventional methods could purge the rings of their infestation, we sent one of our most faithful, an Arbiter. For a full year, this Arbiter ventured across the surface of one of their moons, learning both their strengths and their weaknesses. It was there that we discovered the Let Golo secret. Although some of their kind rightly bore the blame for the orbital's desecration, others had only devoured around the Forerunner materials. And with reasoning and much labor, these could be used to serve the Covenant. And by these means, the Great Arbiter had given us one of our most sought-after treasures access to innumerable processing pathways of the mighty forerunner Dreadnought, and to the many secrets it held. It is most unusual that in all the exploits of these Arbiters, you never mention their role in choosing their missions of redemption. There is no role, Oracle. Once one of our commanders becomes an Arbiter, he belongs to the Hierarchs. These Hierarchs, they are the same High Prophets who control all the holy relics you collect from my time? The same. And they use these relics to build your new weapons and bring you the word of your gods? It has always been so. Interesting. Am I a holy relic? I... I do not understand. Because I am certainly not a god. I am a tool, as is this mining platform you stand upon, as was the installation that once orbited the planet. The Forerunner's technology is lasting and indeed quite powerful, but I'm quite certain they would have told me if I was infused with some kind of divine power. I suspect some of your prophets may have been quite aware of how much divine inspiration tools such as myself could provide. And you never questioned these proclamations. Even your muddiest warriors, these Arbiters, never questioned? Questioning was what brought shame to the word Arbiter long ago, Oracle. How disappointing. 
I fear now that there are many questions we should have been asking for a long, long time. I would be more than happy to answer any such questions, but I have a few more for you. Continue your tale of these arbiters. Whereas most species were grafted into the Covenant by faith or mutual beneficence, the Ungoi were not such. Their kind was brought into the fold by force, and it was by force that they were held captive. Their world had no prayer against our might and majesty, and their peoples were quickly laid low, many of them brought into subjugation. Yet while some species would perish under such pressure, others rise to the occasion, taking arms if need be, fighting back. Such it was for the Ungoy when their feud with the Kigyar led to rebellion. An effort by the Kigyar to sterilize the Ungoy population was met with stiff resistance. And for a time, the holy city was thrown into chaos. Once fully provoked, the Ungoy were merciless in their violence, lashing out at all species. Their large numbers and their tenacious volatility made them a suitable challenge, even for the elites. And yet again, we turned to an arbiter. And with a ferocity unparalleled since the beginning of the Covenant, the Ungoy world would be reduced to glass. Those within the Holy City would be forced to watch, unable to stop what could have been the very end of their kind. The Ungoy Rebellion was brought to an end by the Arbiter's hand. Their world was not completely lost, and those who survived within high charity found some measure of mercy. They had proven their worth in combat, and would now serve alongside the Sangheili in battle. I'm starting to fear that you're not very smart. Mind your tongue, Oracle. Oh, I mean no offense. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about your species. How long have these prophets been anointing arbiters? Since the fall of Falchavami, the first disgraced arbiter, roughly 400 years ago. Incredible! And in all this time, it never occurred to you how convenient it was that your prophets were able to find a powerful, capable leader among your people who happened to suddenly commit a terrible blasphemy every time the power structure of your covenant was threatened. I do not understand. Hmm, you do little to dissuade my fears. Then teach me. Looking back at the record of the Arbiters you've discussed, was it not surprising to anyone that those chosen to become Arbiter were more than simple warriors? How so? Each of them had significant political influence among your people. In some cases, that influence was already being used to question the decisions of your hierarchs. In fact, that very questioning often gave rise to the charges of heresy that so neatly removed the challenger from the hierarch's concern. And once they were branded Arbiter... They promptly and quite cheerfully ran to meet their deaths. All our lives we look down at the path put our feet where the prophets tell us. All our lives spent convincing ourselves of the truth of our covenant. Could all of it truly have been wasted? Let's hope not all of it, for we have a great deal of work to do. The Flood is still out there, so I require a cooperative reclaimer to enact proper containment procedures. But your covenants keep trying to kill all the reclaimers I can find. All this bickering is quite a deadly waste of time. Right now, the most important question we can ask is this. Who could break this hold the Prophets have over you?
The history of the Arbiter is one of both legend and infamy. Their name has been corrupted by great shame. Though the contemporary is perhaps the most confounding of all. Thel Vadimi was born of noble blood, the legendary House of Vada. His family's renown demanded great expectations for his military career, and he would meet them all. One of the youngest to achieve the status of shipmaster, and one of the youngest to gain the rate of supreme commander. In our campaign against the humans, few have risen to renown as Vadami. World after human world, all laid low for the sake of the great journey. But then came Halo. Shame unto shame. He failed his greatest charge, and the sacred ring was desecrated. By such disgrace, Thel Vadami became the Arbiter. As a mere scribe, I do not challenge the word of the Hierarchs, but I would be remiss not to voice concern. This Sangheili should have been put down, publicly slain as an example to all of our prayerful expediency. With the discovery of a second ring and the changing of the guard, all things are in jeopardy. Will this Arbiter remain loyal? Or will he stand with his people as they are abolished by our newfound might? I would never openly challenge the divine proclamations of a Hierarch. But this Arbiter is a risk I would not have tolerated. And I now fear the days of the Covenant are numbered. The only one I would trust with this information is probably dead right now. He was commander of the fleet that brought me to the system. Fel Vadimi was his name. But after hearing you tell of the destruction of the ring, I cannot believe that he still lives. His orders were to secure the ring, to prepare it for the arrival of the Hierarchs. Vadimi never fails in his duties. If the ring is no more, then Vadimi must be dead. Duty can indeed be a dangerous virtue. But even if he did live, wouldn't this sense of duty make him quite unlikely to set aside his allegiance to the Prophets? Perhaps not. And he would never betray our people. No, oh, if I... if we were able to just speak to him, explain everything you have told me, no, these are futile hopes. If he did live, and if he was returned to the High Prophets, they would most certainly punish him for the destruction of the Ring. In fact, he would be the exact kind of leader the Hierarchs would make Arbiter. They would need someone to blame for the loss of the Ring. His influence within the fleet grew with every one of his victories over the humans. And if he did become Arbiter? Then he would be lost to our cause. Without the knowledge you've shared with me, he would obey the prophets without question. I doubt he would even respond to his former name. I don't know what it would take to overcome, but as you say, we don't have time to ask such questions, and Vadimi is almost certainly dead. If all your hopes rest on him, then I fear for the future of this galaxy. As do I, Oracle. As do I. But I will begin our fight. Make others aware of the lies the Prophets whisper in our ears. And soon, we will find more who will take up our cause. Activate the Kindler. 
make haste. We have little time. It has been found, Commander. Very well. Mark the coordinates and proceed with caution. And to think, it has been under their noses all this time. Humans are foul animals. They lack the intellect and the purity to discern the ways of gods. Prepare the luminary for retrieval. The Hierarch will reward us for our devotion. Well done, Commander. Do you know what you found? A luminary hierarch. A divine instrument. It is more than that, Commander. This is the one spoken of in the prophecies. It lights the sacred path. Stewards, good news, I pray. It was not easy, Blessed One. The Luminary was not forthcoming with the Holy Words, but our hope proved true. The Sacred Rings. Halo. And not Halo alone, High Prophet. It also told of this. The final home of the Forerunners, and the creation of the Sacred Rings. The Ark. such a treasure it lies far beyond the borders of our galaxy accessible only by way of portal the one portal the luminary spoke of was here the forerunners called it Erde Tyrene our calling is clear we must go there at once we will take the ships in our command and go to this world immediately this Erde Tyrene take heed brothers your work signals the culmination of our Covenant's holy quest. Hold fast. The great journey is at hand. Roger that, Chief. We'll meet you at the rendezvous point when we're done here. Blue two out. John should be here, too. They'd listen to him. Somebody needs to be getting work done while we deal with the red tape. What do you think they want from us? It's naval intelligence, Linda. They want us to tell them everything's gonna be okay. Hate to disappoint. Blue team. Where's the Master Chief? He asked that I answer the Council's questions. Sir. Oh. We've been reviewing your report. You found a Covenant Command and Control Station. It says here they were amassing an invasion fleet of more than 500 ships. The station was... sufficiently disabled. But the threat is still out there. I have the report, but for the record of this Council, what was this fleet's intended target, Spartan? Station Control, can I get confirmation on probe Charlie 319 er Looks like it might be a faulty reading, but... Alert! 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 This can't be right. C319 is active and functioning properly. Station! Alert home fleet immediately! They found us! The Covenant! They found Earth! Are you sure? Yes. They called it the Pillar of Autumn. My Why was it not destroyed with the rest of their fleet? It fled as we set fire to their planet. 
but I followed with all the ships in my command. When you first saw Halo, were you blinded by its majesty? Blinded? Paralyzed? Dumbstruck? No. Yet the humans were able to evade your ships, land on the sacred ring, and desecrate it with their filthy footsteps. Noble Hierarchs, surely you understand that once the Parasite attacked... There will be order in this council! You were right to focus your attention on the Flood. But this demon, this Master Chief... By the time I learned the demon's intent, there was nothing I could do. <laughs> Noble Prophet of Truth, this has gone on long enough. Make an example of this bungler. The Council demands it. You are one of our most treasured instruments. Long have you led your fleet with honor and distinction. But your inability to safeguard Halo was a colossal failure. Hey, it was heresy! I will continue my campaign against the humans. No, you will not. Soon the great journey shall begin, but when it does, the weight of your heresy will stay your feet, and you shall be left behind. was about to fail. There's viscosity throughout the gel layer. Optics, totally fried. And let's not even talk about the power supply. You know how expensive this gear is, son? Tell that to the Covenant. As you can see, they recharge a lot faster. If your shields go down, find some cover, wait for the meter to read fully charged. That, or he can hide behind me. You done with my boy here, Master Guns? I don't see any training wheels. His armor's working fine, Johnson, so shut your chilly hole. You're free to go, son. Just remember, take things slow. Don't worry, I'll hold his hand. So, Johnson. When are you gonna tell me how you made it back home in one piece? Sorry, Guns. It's classified. Huh! <laughs> My ass! Well, you can forget about those adjustments to your A2 scum. Well, he's in a particularly fine mood. Maybe Lord Hood didn't give him an invitation. Earth. <laughs> Haven't seen it in years. When I shipped out for basic, the orbital defense grid was all theory and politics. Now look, the Cairo is just one of 300 geosync platforms. That Mac gun can put a round clean through a Covenant capital ship. Coordinated fire from the Athens and the Malta, nothing's getting past this battle cluster in one piece. Ships have been arriving all morning. Nobody's saying much, but I'll think something big's about to happen. You told me there wouldn't be any cameras. And you told me you were gonna wear something nice. Folks need heroes, Chief, to give them hope. So smile, would ya? Well, we still got something to smile about. Quite a crowd. If 
they came to hear me beg, they will be disappointed. Are you sure? Gentlemen, we're lucky to have you back. Go ahead, Cortana. Another whisper, sir, near Io. We have probes en route. Uh, I apologize, but we're going to have to make this quick. You look nice. Thank you. Sergeant Major, the Colonial Cross is awarded for acts of singular daring and devotion. For a soldier of the United Earth Space Corps, There can be no greater heresy. Let him be an example for all who would break our covenant. <laughs> Commander Miranda Keyes, your father's actions were in keeping with the highest traditions of military service. His bravery in the face of impossible odds reflects great credit upon himself and the UNSC. The Navy has lost one of its best. Directly off our battle cluster. Show me. Fifteen Covenant Capital ships holding position just outside the kill zone. This is Fleet Admiral Harper. We are engaging the enemy. Negative, Admiral. Form a defensive perimeter around the cluster. Commander, get to your ship. Link up with the fleet. Yes, sir. You have the mech gun, Cortana. As soon as they come in range, open up. Gladly. Something's not right. The fleet that destroyed Reach was 50 times this size. Sir, additional contacts. Boarding craft and lots of them. They're going to try to take our Mac guns offline. Give their capital ships a straight shot at Earth. Master Chief, defend this station. Yes, sir. I need a weapon. Right this way. By. They're latched. Check your targets, watch the crossfire. They're in standard formation. Little bastards up front, big ones in back. Good luck, Cairo. Not a drill. I repeat, this is nice, not nice. a drill. Malta's already driven off its borders. Malta, what is your status? Over. I don't believe it! They're retreating! We won! This is bad. Real bad. All hands, brace for impact. Uh-oh. Hey, they're leaving the Athens. Cortana, assessment. That explosion came from inside the Athens. Same as the Malta. The Covenant must have brought something with them. A bomb. 
Then they sure as hell brought one here. Chief, find it. Get the hell out of my armory, Split! Fire control center. They have a bomb. Can you defuse it? Yes, but I'll need the chief's help to make contact with the detonator. Chief, get to the bomb. Double time. Cortana, prioritize targets and fire at will. First echelon, you're with me. Blanket those cruisers. Take them out one by one. Second echelon, keep those carriers busy. Just so you know, there are quite a few elites guarding the bomb. You may need to get creative. All hands, report to evacuation. Me, inside your head, now. How much time was left? You don't want to know. Pyro, this is an emberclad. The carrier shield is down. I'm in position and ready for immediate assault. Negative, Commander. Not against a ship that size. Not on your own. Sir, permission to leave the station. For what purpose, Master Chief? To give the Covenant back their bomb. Permission granted. I know what you're thinking, and it's crazy. So, stay here. Unfortunately for us both, I like crazy. Just one question. What if you miss? I won't. Any idea what it means? Dear humanity, we regret being alien bastards. We regret coming to Earth. And we most definitely regret the Corps just blew up our raggedy ass fleet. Hoorah! Regret is in vain, Sergeant. The name of one of the Covenant's religious leaders, a prophet. He's on that carrier and he's calling for help. <laughs> Mission aboard. Roger, Recon. It's your call, Sarge. We're going in. Get tactical, Marines! You heard the man, boys! It's time for some hazard pain! Mr. Chief, 
Get aboard that carrier. Secure the profit of regret. This is the only place on Earth the Covenant decided to land. That prophet is going to tell us why. Whoa. Find better cover in those buildings. Butkus, you take point. didn't make it. Find a hole. Stay put. We'll come to you. Shake it off, Marines! Clear the crash site. Go, go, go! I need you on that bird. Yeah. My pelicans are going to start airlifting armor and reinforcements into the city. They'll need an escort that isn't afraid of a little hostile ground fire. This tunnel links up to the bridge. It's full of rats, if you know what I mean. But it beats swimming. I've been analyzing the Covenant tactical chatter. They're surprised. Confused. I don't think they expected us to be here. Not you and me. All of us. Humanity on Earth. Odd, I know, but it does help explain why they came here with such a small fleet. It blew right through us. 50 cal, rockets, didn't do a thing. Where's 
the rest of your platoon. Wasted, Sarge. And we will be too, sir, if we don't get the hell out of here. You hit Marine. N no, sir. Then listen up. When I joined the Corps, we didn't have any fancy schmancy tanks. We had sticks, two sticks and a rock for a whole platoon. And we had to share the rock. Buck up, boy. You're one very lucky Marine. What about that scare? We've all run the simulations. They're tough, but they ain't invincible. Stay with the Master Jeep. You'll know what to do. Yes, sir, Sergeant. Thanks for the tank. He never gets me anything. Oh, I know what the ladies like. Send a spark. We got trouble. See this look? It's terror! Marine, did I give you Return to an amberclad. Roger that. Status. Sir, the Prophet is bugging out. Request permission to engage. Negative, Commander. All Vector 2 heavies for star side intercept. Bam! Flip space rupture off the target's bow. It's going to jump inside the city. There's no time, sir. Green light. Green light to engage. Punch it. Get us close. Ma'am, without a destination solution, we are not losing that ship. Fresh off the teeth. He's not meant for the jails. 
The higher ups have something special in mind. And take your brutes with you. Release the prisoner. The Council decided to have you hung by your entrails and your corpse paraded through the city. But ultimately, the terms of your execution are up to me. I am already dead. Indeed. Do you know where we are? The mausoleum of the Arbiter. Quite so. Here rests the vanguard of the great journey. Every arbiter from first to last. Each one created and consumed in times of extraordinary crisis. The taming of the hunters, the grunt rebellion. Were it not for the arbiters, the covenant would have broken long ago. Even on my knees, I do not belong in their presence. Halo's destruction was your error, and you rightly bear the blame. But the council was overzealous. We know you are no heretic. This is the true face of heresy. One who would subvert our faith and incite rebellion against the High Council. Our prophets are false. Open your eyes, my brothers. They will use the faith of our forefathers to bring ruin to us all. The great journey is... This heretic, and those who follow him, must be silenced. Their slander offends all who walk the path. What use am I? I can no longer command ships, lead troops into battle. Not as you are, no. But become the Arbiter. And you shall be set loose against this heresy with our blessing. What of the Council? The tasks you must undertake as the Arbiter are perilous, suicidal. You will die as each Arbiter has before you. The Council will have their corpse. What would you have your Arbiter do? When we joined the Covenant, we took an oath. According to our station, all without exception. On the blood of our fathers, on the blood of our sons, we swore to uphold the Covenant. Even to our dying breath. Those who would break this oath are heretics, worthy of neither pity nor mercy. Even now, they use our Lord's creations to broadcast their lives. We shall grind them into dust and continue our march to glorious salvation. This armor suits you, but it cannot hide that mark. Nothing ever will. You are the Arbiter, the will of the Prophets, of these are my elites. Their lives matter to me. Yours does not. That makes two of us. Later, hmm. there is no doubt the storm will strike the facility. We'll be long gone before it arrives. Prepare for 
combat. We are the arm of the prophets, Arbiter, and you are the blade. Be silent and swift, and we shall quell this heresy without incident. The storm has masked our approach, and it should have their local battle net in disarray. We have the element of surprise, for now. Engage active camouflage. Reveal yourselves only after the Arbiter has joined battle with the enemy. You may wish to do the same, Arbiter. But take heed. Your armor system is not as new as ours. Your camouflage will not last forever. What is it? That stench. I've smelled it before. Come out, so we may kill you. <laughs> Get in line. Later! Stand firm. The flood is on the through this, then we shall force him out. How? The cable. I'm going to cut it. Get everyone back to the ships. Warriors, return to the landing zone. The Arbiter will continue upward, but this station is ready. <laughs>
heretic? <sighs> Arbiter, I would rather die by your hand than let the prophets lead me to slaughter. Who has taught you these lies? The Oracle. Hello. I am 343 Guilty Spark. I am the monitor of Installation 04. Ask the Oracle about Halo. How they would sacrifice us all for nothing. More questions? Splendid. I would be happy to assist you. It's a blind arbiter, but I will make them see. Coming into view now. Cortana, what exactly am I looking at? That is another halo. <laughs> Say what? So this is what my father found. I thought halo was some sort of super weapon. It is. If activated, this ring will cause destruction on a galactic scale. I want all the information you've got on the first halo. Schematic, topography, whatever. I don't care if I have the clearance or not. Yes, ma'am. Where's our target? The enemy ship has stopped above the ring, ma'am. We're going to pass right over it. Perfect. Given what we know about this ring, it's even more important that we capture the Prophet of Regret. Find out why he came to Earth. Why he came here. Chief, take first platoon. Hard drop. Secure a landing zone. Sergeant, load up two flights of pelicans and follow them in. Aye, aye, ma'am. Until I can move and fight, I'm going to keep a low profile. Once you leave the ship, you're on your own. Understood. Over the target, in five. Hang on to your helmet. Find the bump. Boom! <laughs> 
Artillery disabled, Sergeant. Landing zone secure for the moment. I hear you. Starting our approach. Hang tight. Good. Still no word about in amber clad on the Covenant battle map. It's odd. The Covenant know we made landfall, but they don't seem to consider us a very serious threat. Boy, are they in for a big surprise. Watch yourself! Honor Guard! Wait, go back. That's what I thought he said. The Prophet of Regret is planning to activate Halo. Are you sure? But I shall light this holy ring, release its cleansing flame, and burn a path into the divine beyond! Pretty much. Commander, we've got a problem. So I hear. But from what I understand, the Prophet will need an object, the Index, to activate the ring. I've located a library similar to the one you found on the first Halo. If the rings work the same way, the Index should be inside. I'll bet the Covenant are thinking the exact same thing. Then we better beat them to it, Sergeant. Extract your men and meet me at the library. Yes, ma'am. I'll secure the Index, Chief. You take out the Prophet. He's given us all the intel we need. There's a submerged section that connects these towers to the outlying structures. Looks like we're going down. Unless you'd prefer to swim. a secure transmission from Regret's carrier to something called High Charity. It seems to be a formal apology to the prophets of truth and mercy. Apparently, Regret jumped the gun when he attacked Earth. He's asking the other prophets to forgive his premature arrival, arguing that no human presence was foretold. That explains why there were so few ships in his fleet. But it's odd a prophet would have such bad intel about his enemy's homeworld. Regret's carrier just received a response from High Charity. A very well-encrypted message from the Prophet of Truth. Listen to this. Your haste has jeopardized the fulfillment of our covenant, threatened our grand design. That you shall be spared a public display of our contempt is thanks only to Mercy and his wise counsel. Truth, Mercy, Regret. Three Prophet Hierarchs. Killing Regret should shake up the covenant leadership. But frankly, it sounds like you might be doing Truth a favor. How's it going, you two? So far, so good. We're approaching the main temple now. Roger that. I'm as close to the library as I can get. There's some sort of barrier. We're trying to find a way around it. I'll keep you posted. anyone's ever seen. Get inside the temple and kill regret before it can stop us.
single waves of phantoms. Too many for me to track, and we don't have much time. There are honor guards all over this place. Watch your back. There's the target. Take him out. Bad news. The Phantoms are turning around. The fleet is preparing to fire on our position. We need to get out of here. within our grasp. If you had not withdrawn our phantoms... Are you questioning my decision? No, Holy One. I only wish to express my concern that the brutes... Recommissioning the Guard was a radical step. But recent events have made it abundantly clear that the Elites can no longer guarantee our safety. I shall relay your decision to the Council. Do you know, Arbiter, the Elites have threatened to resign, to quit the High Council, because of this exchange of hats? We have always been your protectors. These are trying times for all of us. Even as the humans' annihilation filled us with satisfaction, the loss of one of the Sacred Rings racked our hearts with grief. Putting aside our sorrow. We renewed our faith in the prophecy that other rings would be found, and see how our faith has been rewarded. Halo! Its divine wind will rush through the stars, propelling all who are worthy along the path to salvation. But how to start this process? For ages we searched for one who might unlock the secrets of the rings. An oracle. And with your help, we found it. With appropriate humility, we plied the Oracle with questions, and it, with clarity and grace, has shown us the key. You will journey to the surface of the ring and retrieve this sacred icon. With it, we shall fulfill our promise. Salvation for all! And begin the great journey. Well, let's the shield is down. We'll head straight to the library. I do not wish to keep the Hierarchs waiting. The human that killed the Prophet of Regret. Who was it? Who do you think? The demon is here? <laughs> Why? Looking for a little payback? Retrieving the Icon is my only concern. <laughs> of course. Thank you. 
shield generator. Many of my brutes have fallen attempting to take it down. Let's see if you fare better. The center of this zone is a sacred icon critical to the great journey. I must find it. We shall cut into the heart of this infestation, retrieve the icon, and burn any flood that stand in our way. The parasite is not to be trifled with. I hope you know what you're doing. Must be after the icon. On your way, Arbiter. I'll deal with these beasts. You know, your father never asked me for help either. The index is secure. Mackenzie, Perez, how's our exit? You hear me, Marines? We got trouble. learn of this, that they will take your head when they learn. <laughs> Fool, they ordered me to do it. What is 
that. Piss this thing off. Demon. This one is mission and nerve. And has its mind concluded. This one is but flesh and faith. And is the more deluded. Kill me or release me, Parasite. But do not waste my time with talk. There is much talk, and I have listened through rock and metal and time. Now I shall talk, and you shall listen. Greetings. I am 2401 Penitent Tangent. I am the monitor of Installation 05. And I am the Prophet of Regret, Council of Most High, Hierarch of the Covenant. A reclaimer? Here? At last. We have much to do. This facility must be activated if we are to control this outbreak. Just stay where you are. Nothing can be done until my sermon is complete. Not true. This installation has a successful utilization record of 1.2 trillion simulated in one actual. It is ready to fire on demand. Of all the objects our lords left behind, there are none so worthless as these oracles. They know nothing of the great journey! And you know nothing about containment. You have demonstrated complete disregard for even the most basic protocols. This one's containment. And this one's great journey are the same. Your prophets have promised you freedom from a doomed existence. But you will find no salvation on this ring. Those who built this place knew what they wrought. Do not mistake their intent, or all will perish as they did before. This thing is right. Halo is a weapon. Your prophets are making a big mistake. Your ignorance already destroyed one of the Sacred Rings, demon. It shall not harm another. If you will not hear the truth, then I will show it to you. There is still time to stop the key from turning. But first it must be found. You will search one likely spot. And you will search another. Fate had us meet as foes, but this ring will make us brothers. We are, all of us, gravely concerned. The release of the Parasite was unexpected, unfortunate, but there is no need to panic. In truth, this is a time to rejoice. A moment that all the Covenant should savor. For the Sacred Icon has been found. With it, our path is clear, our entry into the Divine Beyond guaranteed. The Great Journey is nigh, and nothing, not even the Flood, can stop it. Kill the demon! Brutes! The faster you can kill those brutes, the better. They don't have shield generators, but take them out before... That prophet, Truth, he has the Index. You've got to take it from him. Let me get these doors. Go, it'll be easier to track Truth if I stay in the network. 
Truth is moving through the lower levels of the tower. I'll reverse this grab lift. Drop down, try to cut him off. It's safe, really. Just step in. Wait a minute. I'm reading Marine IFS transponder. The signals are originating somewhere below your position. Here, Chief, jump in. There are two groups of Marines in this detention block. I'll zero their locations. You neutralize the guards. Quietly. All of the Marines, Chief. Good work. Fear not, my brothers. The sacred icon is secure. It was Tartarus who destroyed the icon from the For that, they have our faith. Excellent. Truth is broadcasting on the move. It'll make it much easier to track. <laughs> I've got a fix on truth just outside this tower, Chief. There's an exit nearby. Hurry. With my blessing, the brutes now lead our peace. They ask for your legion. You wouldn't believe the number of kill systems the Covenant are throwing down around me. Not to worry, it's pretty sloppy stuff. I guess they never expected a hostile intelligence to penetrate their network from the inside. The Covenant just destroyed two of their own ships. And I'm hearing reports of small arms fire throughout their fleet. Creatures of the Covenant, the path is broad and we shall Slip space rupture. It's in amber clad. At this moment, the council is just on here. See the eyes. Rise, Black Brothers! Cast down the elites! There are those who said this day would never come. What a day! Ah! We're going to catch truth. We'll need to take a shortcut straight through the mausoleum. Look on the bright side. For now, they seem much more interested in killing each other. Oh. Hang on. I'm picking up two more transponders. The commander and Johnson. They're closing on Truth's position, Chief. They'll need your help. This way, Chief. Really ugly. Split them up. One in each factor. The hopes of all the Covenant rest on your shoulders, Chieftain. My faith is strong. I will not fail. Let him be. The great journey waits for no one, brother. Not even you.
the rings, Harbiter. The counselors, are they murdered by the brutes? Fire on disloyal beasts. The prophets were fools to trust them. in the center of the city, it's a forerunner ship. And Truth is heading straight for it if he leads the Covenant fleet to Earth. They won't stand a chance. You have to stop him. That brute has the Index. And Miranda and Johnson. He can activate the ring. If he does, I'll detonate in Amberclad's reactor just like we did the Autumns. The blast will destroy this city and the ring. It's not a very original plan, but we know it'll work. No, I don't want to chance a remote detonation. I need to stay here. Flood control the drop ships are touching down all over the city. That creature beneath the library, that grave mine, used us. We were just a diversion. An amber clad was always its intended vector. There's a conduit connecting this tower to the ship. Head back inside. I'll lead you to it. I'll disable this lift once you reach the top. That'll slow them down. I hope. Shall we let the flood consume our holy city? Turn my charity of another very rich No enemy has ever withstood our might. The flood too shall fail. I'll do what I can to slow the log sequence. There's something inside the ship, a presence, fighting back. For a covenant construct, it's unusually formidable. The parasite did not defeat the forerunner. And it shall not defeat us. Arrogant creature. Your death will be instantaneous. While we, we shall suffer for the rest of an individual. Security systems in this part of the tower are particularly robust. Whosoever is gripped by fear, take heed. I am the prophet of truth. Apparently these are the Prophet Hierarch's private quarters. They're inner sanctum. repurposing Forerunner technology, but this is amazing. They've been using the Forerunner ship's engines as an energy source for the city. 
The ship isn't so much launching as it is disengaging, uncoupling itself from High Charity's power grid. Stopping truth, that's all that matters. to Earth. Good luck. After I'm through with truth. Now make a girl a promise. If you know you can't keep it. What is that place? Where the counselors were meant to watch the consecration of the Icon. The start of the great journey. There is still time to stop the key from turning. I must get inside. Then mount up, Arbiter. I know a way to break those doors. like you. But if we don't do something, Mr. Mohawk's gonna activate this ring, and we're all gonna die. Tartarus has locked himself inside the control room. Well, I just happen to have a key. Come on, grab a bed and give me some cover. Gonna know what's coming. from its socket, mm. which is nothing compared to what I'll do to you. Tartarus, stop. Mm. Impossible. 
impossible. Put down the icon. Put it down. And disobey the Hierarchs? There are things about Halo even the Hierarchs do not understand. Take care, Arbiter. What you say is heresy. Is it? Oracle, what is Halo's purpose? Collective no! of the Seven. Not another word. Please. Don't shake the light bulb. If you want to keep your brain inside your head, I tell those boys to chill. Go ahead. Do your thing. The sacred rings, what are they? Weapons of last resort, built by the Forerunners to eliminate potential flood hosts, thereby rendering the parasite harmless. And those who made the rings? What happened to the Forerunners? After exhausting every other strategic option, my creators activated the rings. They and all additional sentient life in three radii of the Galactic Center died as planned. Would you like to see the relevant data? Tartarus, the Prophets have betrayed us. No, Arbiter! The Great Journey has begun, and the Brutes, not the Elite, shall be the Prophets' escort! What's that? A beacon. What's it doing? Communicating at superluminal speeds with the frequency of... Communicating with what? The other installations. Show me. Failsafe protocol. In the event of unexpected shutdown, the entire system will move to standby status. All remaining platforms are now ready for remote activation. Remote activation? From here? Don't be ridiculous. Listen, Tinkerbell, don't make me... Then where? Where would someone go to activate the other rings? Why the Ark, of course. And where, Oracle, is that? We've got a new contact, unknown classification. It isn't one of ours. Take it out. This is Spartan 117. Anyone hear me? Over. Isolate that signal. Master Chief? You mind telling me what you're doing on that ship? Sir, finishing this fight.
bad, sir. All right. Shoot. They let me pick. Did I ever tell you that? Choose whichever Spartan I wanted. You know me. I did my research. Watched as you became the soldier we needed you to be. Like the others, you are strong and swift and brave. A natural leader. But you had something they didn't. Something no one saw but me. Can you guess? Luck. Was I wrong? This ain't good. Damn. How far did he fall? Two kilometers. Easy. Stay sharp. Gorman? His armor's locked up. Gel layer could have taken most of the impact. I don't know, Sergeant Major. for Vito. Heavy lift gear. We're not leaving him here. Yeah, you're not. Oh, crazy fool. Why do you always jump? One of these days you're gonna land on something as stubborn as you are. And I don't do bits and pieces. Where is she, Chief? Where's Cortana? Don't make a girl a promise, if you know you can't keep it. She stayed behind. Corporal, make it quick. Sorry, sir. Your armor's still in partial lockdown. Chief, wait! The Arbiter's with us! Come on, now. You've got enough to worry about without you two trying to kill each other. Were it so easy? We must go. The brutes have our scent. Then they must love the smell of green. First squad, you're my scouts. Move out, quiet as you can. Major, Major, Phantom inbound. Tell me its location. Pelicans are en route, Chief, but I can't raise a problem. Find them, get them to the extraction room. Crew yeah. Chieftain, Phantom, pinned us down, killed my men. Could you sacrifice me to complete your mission? Could you watch me die?
creeps. You want breakfast? You gotta catch it. See how they beat their trap? I will help you spring it. IFF confirmed. Contact is Bellic and Dropship. Kilo 23, over. Roger that. What's the word, Kilo 23? Sierra 117 on board. Request priority clearance, over. Next yours. Come on down. Sorry for the tight squeeze. Tell the commander her ace is in the hole. Not be. Oh man, he's here. We're gonna be. Where all did you right. find him? Napping out back. <laughs> I'll bet. It's good to see you, Chief. Likewise, ma'am. Let's get you up to speed. The Prophet of Truth's ships breached the lunar perimeter, smashed what was left of the home fleet. Terrestrial casualties from the subsequent bombardment were extreme. Truth could have landed anywhere, but he committed all his forces here. East Africa, the ruins of New Mombasa. Then, they started digging. What about Halo? We stopped it, but only temporarily. Now, the Prophet of Truth is looking for something called the Ark, where he'll be able to fire all the Halo rings. If he succeeds, humanity, the Covenant, every sentient being in the galaxy... The rings will kill us all. Ma'am, I have Lord Hood. Patch him through. Good news, Commander Keys? Good as it gets, sir. So I see. What's your status, son? Green, sir. Glad to hear it. Commander's come up with a good plan, but without you, I wasn't sure we could pull it off. Truth's ships are clustered above the excavation site, and his infantry has deployed anti-aircraft batteries around the perimeter. But if we neutralize one of the batteries, punch a hole in Truth's defenses... I'll initiate a low-level strike. Hit him right where it hurts. I only have a handful of ships, Master Chief. 
It's a big risk, but I'm confident. Hell, not again. Emergency generators, now! Shielding failed. They're down and charging. As soon as they're up, re-establish contact with Lord Hood. Let you him know- are all of you vermin. Cowering in the dirt, thinking, what, I wonder, that you might escape the coming fire? No, your world will burn until its surface is but glass, and not even your demon will live to creep, blackened from its hole to mar the reflection of our passage, the culmination of our journey. For your destruction is the will of the gods, and I, I am their instrument. Cocky bastard just loves to run his mouth. Does he usually mention me? Give the order, we're closing shop. Ma'am? We're about to get hit. All personnel, wounded. Code Alpha we're one. getting all Prepare of them out. Immediate evacuation. I have to carry him myself. Ma'am, squad leaders are requesting a rally point. Where should they go? To war. We just lost the perimeter cameras. Motion trackers? They're down or we're not receiving. Can't tell. Any of our birds squawking? No, ma'am. Wait. Overwatch has contacts. Phantoms closing on our position. Any birds less than five minutes out? Bring them in. Tell everything else to scatter. Aye, aye. I thought we'd have this many wounded. Pelicans are gonna take extra time to load. We knew they'd find us eventually. But we have a plan. Let's make it happen. You yeah, let's go! Us. How'd they find us? Point of entry, best assessment! Hanger Sergeant! You, Chief. Agreed, Master Chief, yeah. get there! The squad guard in the hangar's real short-handed, Chief. Chief? Good, this channel is secure. My fire teams are spread thin. Can't hold out forever. I need that hangar clear for evac ASAP. If I try to hook up a timer, it might go off by itself. Johnson. Uh -huh. You might want to put that out. Chief, have a look. A little going away gift for the Covenant. We've linked it to smaller charges throughout the base. Johnson, as soon as the evacuation is complete, start the timer. Understood. Good luck, everyone. See you on the last Pelican out. Follow me, Chief. You have been called upon to serve. You will be the protectors of Earth and all her colonies. There will be a great deal of hardship on the road ahead. You will become the best we can make you. This place will become your home. This place will become your tomb. Come on, guys. What happened? Chief, please respond. What is your status? Over. If you can hear me, find transport. Head to the town of Ford. Chief's 
got the right idea. Let's mount up. Get the hell out of these caves. Let's go! Made it. Music to my ears, Commander. What about the Ark? Fully uncovered, sir. And we don't have much time. Marines, the Prophet of Truth doesn't know it yet, but he's about to get kicked right off his throne. You will take our city back and drive our enemy into the grave they've been so happily digging. One final effort is all that remains. Gods and demons. I got shotgun. I want to ride. Rockets in back. Move for one more, sir. You gotta move fast and punch hard. We're going neutralized. Stand by. Something big closing in on your location.
am your shield. I am your sword. Somebody get me some morphine! They can't, my brothers. Only our enemies should fear this raging storm. Eyes and lashing fire are all that remains for them when we, the worthy, have passed beyond.
Cortana. High charity, the Prophet's holy city is on... Cortana. Reclaimer. I must act quickly before your construct suffers any further Wait. trauma. Leave her alone. If we do not take this device to a safe location, somewhere I can make repairs. On Halo, you tried to kill Cortana. You tried to kill me. Protocol dictated my response. She had the activation index, and you were going to destroy my installation. You did destroy my installation. Now I have only one function, to help you, Reclaimer, as I always should have done. Can it be saved? Uncertain. This storage device has suffered considerable trauma. Its matrices are highly unstable. Perhaps one of our technicians. That will not be necessary. Chief. Success. High Charity, the Prophet's holy city is on its way to Earth with an army of flood. I can't tell you everything. It's not safe. The Grave Mind, it knows I'm in the system. It's just a message. Let it play doesn't know about the portal, where it leads. On the other side, there's a solution, a way to stop the flood, without firing the remaining halo rings. Oh! <laughs> Hurry, Chief. The Ark. There isn't much time. I'm sorry. No matter, Oracle. We've heard enough. Our fight is through the portal. With the brutes and the bastard truth. Fine. We'll remain here. Hold out as long as we can. Did you not hear? Your world is doomed. A flood army. A grave mother has you in its sights. You barely survived a small contamination. And you, shipmaster, just glassed half a continent. Maybe the Flood isn't all I should be worried about. One single Flood Spore can destroy a species. Were it not for the Arbiter's Council, I would have glassed your entire planet. Sir, with respect, Cortana has a solution. Cortana? Did you see her condition? How damaged she is? She could be corrupted for all we know. Her solution could be a Flood Trap. We should go through the portal. Find out for sure. What we should do, Commander, is understand, clearly, that this is humanity's final stand. Here, at Earth, we go, we risk everything. Every last man, woman, and child. If we stand our ground, we might just have a chance. No. If your construct is wrong, then the Flood is already won. I'll find Cortana's solution, and I'll bring it back. Earth is all we have left. You trust Cortana that much? Sir. Yes, sir. This is either the best decision you've ever made or the worst. Hell of it is, Chief. I doubt I'll live long enough to find out which.
Burnt ships. Staggered line. Shipmaster. They outnumber us three to one. Then it is an even fight. All cruisers fire at will. Burn their mongrel hides. The cruise ship isn't taking part in the attack. He must have gone to ground. Roger that, ma'am. We're on him. Kick the door. LZ. If we can get to our vehicle...
facility looks quite hardy on the surface. There are undoubtedly delicate structures below the facade. Ah, uh, do not want to abide such ruthless security protocols. One moment, Cleaver. Here we are. Please follow me. This panel will activate a bridge. Good work, Chief. Link up with our armor on the far side of the wall. Make your way down to the cartographer. I did not want you to come to any harm. Got a funny way of showing it. Excellent. This way. Oh. Ah. Kill the business. That's our galaxy. We're beyond the rim. Two to the 18th light years from Galactic Center, to be precise. What is this place? The Ark. This is the Ark? I had always assumed it was part of a shield installation, but it seems I was mistaken. That's a first. Not at all. While I had a complete understanding of Installation 04, my makers wisely limited my knowledge of all other strategic facilities. Compartmentalization, in case I was ever captured by the flood. Can you tell me where we are exactly? Here. And truth? Near one of the Ark's superluminal communication arrays, I'm afraid. Unfortunate. The meddler has triggered a barrier, a defensive perimeter around the Ark's core. The barrier will be difficult to disable. How odd that my makers would place such a comprehensive defense around a single... What is it? Phantom! Spark, move. We must get past that barrier, or the meddler will destroy it all. Chief, you got a whole mess of hostile air inbound. Get back inside while we take him out. Follow the Oracle Spark. I will help your sergeant clear the sky. Sir, Pelican's gonna land one level down. ETA damn quick, stand by for pickup. Run. 
Commander. Johnson, look sharp. I got it. No, don't shoot. They mean us no harm. Those units have a priority task. Oh, yeah? And what might that be? I really can't say. Not for sure. But if you allow me to find a terminal closer to the core... We must keep the path of the sites. But what about your construct? Your solution to the problem? With more data... Armor's right. We have priorities, too. Until we kill Truth, stop the rings from firing. Nothing else matters. Darken this tower and the barrier will fall. Go, Spartan. We have no time to waste. Hit the switch, Chief, and the barrier will fall. Shipmaster, what's your status? 
I must see the point of assess the damage to the arc. To the top of these hills, are no higher. You cannot risk your capture by the flood. I'll show you. Scales the Citadel's far wall. Activate this bridge, Oracle. The Prophet will die by my hands, not theirs. Calamity! If only we had more time! A battle approaches. It asked, and I answered. For a moment of safety, I loosed damnation on the stars. Stand firm. Though our enemies crowd around us, we tread the blessed path. In a moment, I will light the rings, and all who believe shall be saved. Chief, how close are you? Not close enough. That the best you got. <laughs> oh, come on. Impress me. Stop! You imbecile! He wants you to kill him. I'd prefer that you did not. <sighs> What's the matter, big shot? Can't start your own party. I admit, I need your help. But that secret dies with all the rest. Johnson, sound off. <laughs> Get out of here! Not without you. You delay the inevitable. One of you will light the rings. You cannot hope to kill them all. You're right. Do it. Me. And you. Now. No! Your forefathers wisely set aside their compassion, steeled themselves for what needed to be done. I see now why they left you behind. You were weak, 
certain gods must be strong. Safely to our foe. Only you can halt what he has set in motion. of salvation is at hand. It will not last. Your kind never believed in the promise of the sacred ring. Lies for the weak, beacons for the deluded. I will have my revenge on a prophet, not a plague. My feet tread the path. I shall become a god. You
What do you see? survivors fall back to the dawn orbiter will do the same with the elites cortana's in there somewhere Child of my enemy, why have you come? I offer no forgiveness. The father's sins pass to his son. taught me patience, but basking in new freedom, I will know all that I possess! I have walked the edge of the abyss. I have seen your future and I have learned. Submit! End her torment and my own! upon your bones! This is UNSC AI serial number CTN0452-9. I am a monument to all your sins.
found me. But so much of me is wrong. Out of place. You might be too late. You know me. When I make a promise. You keep it. I do know how to pick them. Lucky me. Do you still have it? The activation index from the first Halo ring. A little souvenir I hung on to, just in case. Got an escape plan? Thought I'd try shooting my way out. Mix things up a little. Just keep your head down. There's two of us in here now, remember? Johnson, do you have the frigate? Yes, ma'am. I'll land her as close to the control room as I can. Safe is better than close, Sergeant Major. Roger that. Ma'am, it's good to have you back. Exactly sure what will happen when we fire it. We'll head for the portal. And we'll all go home. Dispersal pods. Control rooms at the top of that tower, Chief. Go! There should be ramps that lead to the top. Check the other side!
damn door! Of course, Ripley. Just as soon as you dispose of all the rocks and the blood prints, I'm afraid contamination protocols do not allow. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Is that the manager? You didn't tell me he was here. Open up! Ghost is clear. Not for long. I'm tracking additional dispersal pods. They'll be hitting any minute. Chief! Arbiter! Let's move! Do I take life or give it? Who is victim and who is foe? It's trying to rebuild itself on this ring. Hurry! Control room's close! Yank me, Chief. I'm not gonna lose her, too. Oh, hello. Wonderful news. The installation is almost complete. Terrific. Yes, isn't it? I have begun my simulations. No promises, but initial results indicate this facility should be ready to fire in just a few more days. We don't have a few more days. B -b but a premature firing will destroy the Ark. Deal with it. Will destroy this installation. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. Protocol dictates action. I see now that helping you was wrong. Ah, the child of my makers. Inheritor of all they left behind. You are Forerunner. But this ring is mine. I'm getting you out of here. No, no, you're not. No, don't let her go. Don't ever let her go. Send me out. Sorry, Spartan. But come.
Find the doorway in the cliffs, Chief. The dawn is on the other side. There! Johnson's Warthog! Come on, Spartan! Go, go, go! The storm has passed. The war is over. But let us never forget those who journeyed into the howling dark and did not return. For their decision required courage beyond measure. Sacrifice and unshakable conviction that their fight, our fight, was elsewhere. As we start to rebuild, this hillside will remain barren, a memorial to heroes fallen. They ennobled all of us, and they shall not be forgotten. Present hot! I remember how this war started, what your kind did to mine. I can't forgive you, but you have my thanks for standing by him to the end. Hard to believe he's dead. Were it so easy? Things look different without the Prophet's lies clouding my vision. I would like to see our own world, to know that it is safe. Fear not. 
for we have made it so. By your word, Arbiter. Take us home. Chief? Can you hear me? I thought I'd lost you, too. What happened? I'm not sure. When Halo fired, it shook itself to pieces, did a number on the Ark. The portal couldn't sustain itself. We made it through just as it collapsed. Well, some of us made it. Covenant, the Flood, it's finished. It's finished. I'll drop a beacon, but it'll be a while before anyone finds us. Years, even. I'll miss you. Wake me. When you need me. Tell me about the children. Dr. Halsey. You already know everything. You kidnapped them. Children's minds are more easily accepting of indoctrination. Their bodies more adaptable to augmentation. The result? was the ultimate soldier. And because of our success, when the Covenant invaded, we were ready. Dr. Halsey, you're bending history for your own favor, and you know it. You developed the Spartans to crush human rebellion, not to fight the Covenant. When one human world after another fell, when my Spartans were all that stood between humanity and extinction, nobody was concerned about why they were originally built. So you feel in the end your choices were justified? My work saved the human race. Do you think the Spartans' lack of basic humanity helped? What are you after? The others before you were naval intelligence, but you... You're something else. Records show Spartans routinely exhibited mildly sociopathic tendencies. Difficulty with socialization and The records show 
Efficient behavior operating in hazardous situations. I supplied the tools to maintain that efficiency. Do you believe the Master Chief succeeded because he was, at his core, broken? What does John have to do with this? You want to replace him? The Master Chief is dead. His file reads, missing in action. Catherine. Spartans never die. Your mistake is seeing Spartans as military hardware. My Spartans are humanity's next step. Our destiny as a species. Do not underestimate them. But most of all, do not underestimate him. Domo and Ganon. Wo masa on? Hey, go your kumo, Tashima Gachi. Watanishi Rue. Loko Doma in Ganon se requiem. Wake up, Chief. I need you. Chief! Yuki! You've been out for a while. Where are we? We're still adrift on the dawn. Why did you wake me? Hang on. Bringing your systems online now. I rewrote your firmware while you were out. 
You've been busy. Activating the ship's gravity generators. Parking system restoration. Chief, look up. You need to pull the manual release. Seems like old times. Ready to get back to work? I thought you'd never ask. We've got intrusion alerts lighting up on multiple decks. Our best bet to figure out who's boarding us is the observation deck, four floors up. Could it be a rescue team? Wouldn't bet on it. How long was I out? Four years, seven months, ten days. Survivors. Somebody should have found us by now. What's that? Sensor scan, high intensity. Doesn't match any known patterns. How close are we to the observation deck? It's directly above us. The elevator doors look sealed tight. Chief, be careful. Because some areas might have lost pressure. Right. Probably not alone. We should be careful. That's the last of them. Find the override for the blast shield so we can see what we're up against. The good news is these Covenant aren't outfitted like standard military. It's possible we just came across a rogue salvage ship. Or we might have stumbled into an entire Covenant fleet. Maybe they haven't recognized us. That's one possibility. Landy craft flanking us! We need to get off this ship. We've got bigger problems. We've got a cruiser on an intercept course. Head for the elevator banks. Didn't the ship sensors say we still had weapon systems online? Yes, but since the ship was torn in half, we can't access the weapon stations. We'll have to fire them manually from the outer hull. These covenants seem more fanatical than the ones we fought before. The auxiliary launch station should be to your left, out of the airlocks. You'll have to prime the launch for ignition! Cortana. It's nothing. Just get to the launch station. Uh, I'm sorry. Did I miss orbiting a Forerunner planet at some point? One thing at a time. Chief, you need to find the missile controls. station.
Where are we? Checking coordinate impact data. We have asked you to give up your family, your childhood, your future. Cortana. I'm sorry. It's the crash. I'm fine. Something was wrong even before we left the dawn. Chief? Really? I'm fine. Cortana. I was put into service eight years ago. Eight years. AIs deteriorate after seven, Chief. Halsey. Chief. We need to find Halsey. Chief, please. She made you. She can fix you. I won't recover from rampancy, Chief. If we can just get back to Earth and find Halsey, she can fix this. Don't. Make a girl a promise you can't keep. We need to move. Doesn't look like the Covenant fared much better than we did. How many ships made it through the roof? Plenty. Why? We still need a ride home. See if that terminal is still active. I'm picking up a faint transmission on the high band. Covenant? I don't think so. The pattern's different. I'll try to triangulate its position. Still in one piece. Nice to see your luck is holding out. Chief? About my condition? I didn't want to mention it, seeing as how it's a complete long shot, but since you brought it up, it is possible that getting home could help me find a solution for my rampancy. How? 
Well, as far as I know, I'm the only AI ever generated from living tissue. A clone of Dr. Halsey, to be precise. It may be possible to recompile my neural net by replicating those same conditions. But that means getting back to Halsey. Soon. Chief, I'm hearing that strange signal again. It's stronger this time. Do you think there's something to it? I'm curious more than anything. Its behavior is... odd. If we're going to hijack a ship from these Covenant, we're going to have to find where they're landing first. I don't suppose you have a plan for that. We could always ask nicely. Asking's not my strong suit. There's that phantom signal again. I heard something that time. It's a localized site cartographer. Hmm. Okay. In service of Forerunner Shield World, designate Requiem. Requiem? At least we know where we are now. Let's see if it can tell us what the Covenant are so interested in. Huh. What happened? I don't know. It locked up. I'm detecting power fluctuations in several locations. I'll put them up for you. Hopefully we can find some way to get this cartographer back online. What's it doing? It's all right. This energy is actually a ferroelectric data field. Your shields are just cycling in response to the chamber's charge. Will this bring the cartographer back online? Partially. This type of processing system usually works in parallel. We'll have to locate its twin. Is that the same signal? Yes. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. UNSC AI Cortana to infinity, please respond. No response. But from the strength of that signal, the infinity has to be close by. The cartographer should be back online. We may be able to use it to track the ship's location. The cartographer keeps acting like the transmission is coming from everywhere on the planet at once. It doesn't want to triangulate Infinity's signal. Oh wait. I got it. That can't be right. Scan again. We've already passed through one layer of the planet's surface. It's not crazy to think that someone else made it deeper inside than we did. You mean the planet's hollow? Let me see if I can figure out a way to reach these coordinates that doesn't involve us digging a really big hole. There's a terminus on the far side of the complex. We can portal to the planet's core from there. What? I don't know. If we have a shot at getting you back to infinity, we're taking it. Let's get to that terminus and find Infinity. What do you know about Infinity? Not much. She was supposed to be massive, but the project was only in prototype when we left. Chief, the Covenant net's going crazy. They're ordering all units to converge on the tower. I guess we got their attention. While you were busy, I managed to clear up another transmission from Infinity. Sounded like he said, artifact. I wonder if it's related to whatever the Covenant are after. Where's the Terminus? 
the map placed it at the top of the tower. According to the Cathedral, this terminus is just one node of a larger transit grid that spans the entire planet. What? When I tried to access the outlet closest to Infinity's transmissions, the system responded with this. What is it? That's the kicker. It's the forerunner symbol for Reclaimer. Humanity. That's got to be Infinity. Can you get us to those coordinates? Let me try to open a portal. Cortana. I'm picking up unknown energy signatures. Where? This can't be right. Set a waypoint out of the tower. Cortana. How did... Quick! Into the portal! Chief, go! What were those things? Some sort of advanced defense AIs. Related to the Sentinels, I'm guessing, but it's hard to say without a closer look. Come on, let's figure out where that transit system dumped us. <laughs> Where's Infinity? This is Requiem's core, all right. But Infinity is definitely not here. That satellite in the center is amplifying the ship's broadcasts like a relay. Maybe we can use it to respond. Perhaps. Those beams coming off it are creating the interference we've been experiencing. We'd have to take them out to contact Infinity. Can you get us there? Opening a gate to the first beam pylon. Pull me, and let's go. This is the first pylon? Negative. This is as close as I could get us. Hope you don't mind hoofing it a little. Power AIs. They're connected, all right. Under the hood, I'd say these constructs must be mimetic in nature. More of them. Similar phasing activity at the edge of our sensors. We're about to get busy.
discovered something interesting about our new friends. When the big ones explode, that momentary flash we're seeing is actually a data purge. Can you tap into it? So far, I've pulled multiple strings referring to the big ones as Promethean Knights. Beyond that, though, things get a bit dense. The relay interference is increasing. We must be getting close to the pylon. What's that distortion? That's me. Something about moving Being through those portals is increasing the load on my systems. Are you gonna be all right? Off rampancy this long, haven't I? Chief, look at this. That's Requiem. They're not inside at all. They're moving into orbit. Hold into Requiem with us. If they try to follow it, they'll get caught in the gravity well. I'll keep trying to warn them. You just get that beam down. Still too much interference to warn them. We've got to disable that other beam before they're pulled in like we were. I was wondering why Infinity hadn't encountered the Covenant yet. What are they doing here? They're heading to the second pylon as well. That can't be a coincidence. Sounds like the Prometheans don't want the Covenant here either. The battle net's already lighting up with reports of resistance all around the pylon. Cortana, do not approach Forerunner Planet. Repeat, do not UNSC approach... UNSC Asset. Ford unto Dawn. We read you, but you're breaking up. Help. Increase speed by 27. Get us in there. Negative, Infinity. Do not enter the planet. If you can hear us, keep transmitting. No, Chief, you've got to get that beam down now. There's bound to be a central control point. The Covenant are moving towards the Relay, too. This doesn't make any sense. Why would they care about a broadcast relay? I'll handle them. 
You just find us that control node. How soon till Infinity hits the gravity well? A minute or two max. The Covenant are making a push for something on the far side of the satellite. Infinity, this is Sierra 117 of the UNSC Forward Unto Dawn. Do you copy? Infinity, do you read? Chief? Chief, let go of the contacts. Find us an exit. Don't wait around on my account! You were oblivious to, human. Your nobility has blinded you, as ever. The librarian left little to chance, didn't she? Turning my own guardians, my own world, against me. But what hubris. She could protect her pets from me forever. If you haven't mastered even these primitives, then man has not attained the matter. Your ascendance may yet be prevented. Time was your ally, human. But now it has abandoned. Ghosts. 
Hang on. I'm going to channel energy from your shields to overdrive the ghost. Portal up ahead! its descent. Marking. Impact predicted 77.8 kilometers due north. You know where he's heading. Same place we are. Stay low. Recon sortie heading this way. The ship looks intact. Something tells me that's only because the Didact wanted it that way. This is Lasky to UNSC Infinity. Look to our next bad guys down here. Does anyone read? This is Sierra 117 of the UNSC Forward Under Dawn. We're on station, ready to assist. Negative copy. Sounds like you said Forward Under Dawn coming in. Signal's bouncing in and out. I can't clean it up. Light up their friend or foe tags. We're gonna need something to zero in on. I'm seeing numerous IFF tags. Painting the closest one on the side. Except now, the Didact's free to handle it personally. We've lost contact with your Pelican. Report in. They must not have received his distress call. One of them's an officer. Check his IFF tag. The tag IDs him as Jimenez, Paolo J. Then Lasky's still out there somewhere. We should get eyes out there looking for the others. Peters, you heard Commander Lasky. The FB Lasky's been through here recently by the timestamp. That's the friend or foe tag, but where's whoever it belongs to? Multiple IDs! Chief, they're friendlies! Afraid we're gonna have to give you an IOU on that welcome home party. Tom Lasky. First officer of the Infinity. Never thought I'd see you again. Seal her up! I thought you'd be taller. Ground forces are ordered to return to Infinity immediately. Commander! Radio's hot! Bond the 
Infinity, this is Commander Lasky. The Hellkin recon teams are down. Repeat, all birds are down. We've got numerous casualties and require immediate assistance. Over. Finally. Did you get the coordinates of that gravity well? Affirmative, sir, but we're gonna need a bus out of here. Make it happen. You were sent on a scouting run in the middle of an attack on the ship. The captain thought Infinity could provide us cover and hold off the attack at the same time. Sir, we'll never get the wounded back to the ship on foot. I don't know if it's too soon to ask you for a favor, but we're gonna run out of breathing room here real quick. I don't suppose you're any good at clearing LZs. On occasion. I'll send out an all clear once the area is secured. A topographical scan of the area shows a break in the foliage north of here. It should be big enough to bring in a dropship to be back. Chief, it's Lasky. We're getting reports of friendlies pinned down here in your position. Can you assist? Commander, this is Cortana. We're on our way. These doors open into a cave system with a space large enough for an LZ. Hold them off long enough for me to open the doors! Security was more difficult than I expected. It's all right. It's not all right. Nothing about it is all right. Knight! Wait, what's he doing? Covenant? They're working with the Prometheans? Shocked how quickly the Didact has unified these covenants. Cortana Talaski, LZ is secured. Roger that, Cortana. I'll give you the coordinates. Mayday, Mayday, code red. Hostile elements attempting to gain entrance to the Infinity Bridge. They're outside the hatch! Doors breach! Doors breach! All units return to Infinity immediately. That's an order. Chief! Redirecting the Spartan Force to Rally Point Alpha Sierra Foxtrot. Until we catch up, you have tactical command of the forward assault force. Run in with those men and take back that ship. Yes, sir. Good luck, Chief. Lasky out. This is Pelican 595. We have the Chief on board and are outbound for Rally Point Alpha Sierra Foxtrot. Let's go, Chief. Let's show these Spartans how it's done. Sir, what's our status? That satellite took down the ship's defenses and is extracting data from the ship's mainframes as we speak. Can we break the connection? Main point of contacts on the ship's upper hull. The fastest route is through the maintenance causeway. There's a Mantis docked inside the door. Take it. You'll need the extra firepower. Let's 
Control, we're wasting time. Guns are manned. Let's make this happen. did those things come from? It's possible that they're native to Requiem, or whatever counts as native for a Forerunner AI. We've never seen this type of offensive reaction from any of the other installations. Other installations? Mr. Lasky. Infinity's mission has been to locate the remaining Halo rings and establish permanent bases to study them for decommission. We got locations up and running around installations five and three, but... Lately, they've run into some setbacks. A science team got zapped excavating a Forerunner artifact. This sensor data is all that was left. Interesting. These symbols are a derivation of the Forerunner glyph system. And our geeks managed to pull some coordinates. I'll give you three guesses where it led. Sir, Gypsy Company is prepped and ready to roll on your orders. Thank you, Palmer. Mr. Lasky, you take point. I want boots on the ground in 60. Captain. This is a first contact scenario, Master Chief. Priority is to free Infinity from Requiem's gravity well and file a threat assessment back at Fleetcom. You mean we're leaving? Sir, Infinity drove the Didact back. He's vulnerable. He isn't the only one. You know, I think you, of all people, would appreciate the benefit of living to fight another day. Infinity to Gypsy Company? The air corridor to the gravity well is blocked by a network of particle cannons. Infinity shields are still down. Open the lane for us to move up and provide air support. Captain, what's Force Recon's assessment of the terrain? I know you've been off the field for a while, Master Chief, but this is a blow-through op. Sending in a recon would just slow us down. Telemetry indicates the particle cannons are being controlled from a command post southwest of our position. Roll on that target and neutralize those guns. We'll meet on the other side and take the gravity well. Infinity out. I don't know about you, but I usually like a little more intel with my intel. We'll make it work. Chief, 
Martin, Sarah Palmer in Infinity CIC. Commander Lasky's waiting for you on the Mammoth. On our way. Well, someone's overcompensating. Papa Foxtrot 766 to Spartan Palmer. We're finally in the air. Master Chief, sir. The XO is looking for you up on the action deck. Chief, unfortunately for us, we've got to manually bring down a couple of particle cannons before we can get to the command post. Chief, Palmer again. The Mammoth's got jetpacks on board. If I were down there, I'd want one. Gypsy Company, this is Captain Del Rio. The board is green. Let's shut down that ground wall so we can go home. Good hunting. Infinity out. Okay, Gypsy, time to work for it. Let's shake some dirt. together, okay? Chief, do you even understand what rampancy is? Really? We don't just shut down. Our cognitive processes begin dividing exponentially according to our total knowledge base. We literally think ourselves to death. You know I won't let that happen. And if it happens anyway? Seven, Blasky. Go, Commander. We got significant blockage up ahead. I think this is about it for the Mammoth. The command post for the particle cannons is through that trench. Sir, I can move faster alone. We'll see you back on Infinity, Commander. Lasky out. Cortana to Infinity. We're entering the Forerunner structure. Breaking up, but coordinates received, Infinity. This elevator should take us directly to the coordinates Infinity provided. Almost like those Sentinels wanted us to get the Particle Cannons offline. This could be a trap. You say that like there's a second possibility? We've reached the coordinates. This looks like the place. The particle cannon network must use these arrays for targeting and guidance. It's an automated system so it won't technically allow me to redirect the cannons to fire on one another. Technically. Cortana to Infinity. The guns should be offline. How's it look from up there? Infinity! Cortana? Something's in here. Chief! Cortana. Cortana. Who are you? I am what remains of the Forerunner, once known as the Librarian. My memories were retained to assist humanity on their path to the Mantle. Though sadly, that plan is now at risk. 
The didact is leaving Requiem. Soon. You must not allow it. Leaving? He seeks this. The composer. A device which will allow him to finally contain the greatest enemy ever faced by the Forerunners. You. Mankind spread into the stars with an unexpected, desperate violence. Entire systems fell before the Didax warrior servants rose to halt the aggression. When the Didax finally exhausted the humans after a millennia, his sentence was severe. We had no way of knowing that the Forerunners were not your only enemy. Humanity hadn't been expanding. They were running. Weakened from our conflict, we were no match for the parasite which pursued you. The Forerunners made plans for a final great journey. But the Didact refused to yield our mantle of... attention. The flood only assimilated living tissue. The composer would provide the didact his solution and his revenge. The Prometheans. They're human. They were only the beginning. He would have encrypted your entire race if we had not removed the Composer from his care and imprisoned him here. Reclaim her. When I indexed mankind for repopulation, I hid seeds from the Didact. Seeds which would lead to an eventuality. Your physical evolution. Your combat skin. Even your Ancilla Cortana. You are the culmination of a thousand lifetimes of planning. Planning for what? He has found us. Even in death, her meddling continues. Reclaimer. The gene song I placed within you contains many gifts, including an immunity to the Composer. But it must be unlocked. How? Relinquish your contact essence. Your evolutionary journey must be accelerated. Can I defeat the Didact without it? No. Then do it. Prepare. Chamber. Chief, what happened? Your bio readings are all over the map. It's a long story, but I know what the Didact's after. I know that part. The librarian filled me in when she snatched me from the system. 
But what I don't know is what she did to you. What's our status? We're taking a lead up here! Does Infinity have a shot on the ground? Negative! We never really had to worry about without the air traffic we're seeing. Captain, what if we can spot the target for you with the laser designator? Do it! Take up! Find the chief coordinates or somewhere with line of sight! Infinity cannot handle that kind of punishment. Not again. This isn't about us or this ship anymore. Sir, we've seen what the Didact is capable of. If we let him leave this world, humanity will be at risk. Look, I understand what you think you saw. Think? With all due respect, sir, I know what I saw. And with all due respect to you, soldier, I'm not willing to jeopardize my ship because of the hallucinations of an aging Spartan and his malfunctioning AI. Sir, what if he's right? Nav, as soon as we know we're airtight, I want a course laid into Carinae Station. Come, prepare a warning beacon. I will not! Allow you to leave this planet! Cortana. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to do that. Commander Lasky. Pursuant to Article 55 of UNSC Regulation 12-14572, I'm ordering you to remove that AI's data chip and retire it for final dispensation. I don't want to. You don't want me to. Remove Please. the chip now, Commander. Please. Give me that chip. The didact has to be stopped. If you won't do that, I will. I am ordering you to surrender that AI! No, sir. Lieutenant! Arrest that man! Captain! Arrest him! Captain! Get word to Earth that trouble is coming. Cortana and I will do what we can back here. I can give you over 40,000 reasons why I know that sun isn't real. I know it because the emitter's Rayleigh effect is disproportionate to its suggested size. I know it because its stellar cycle is more symmetrical than that of an actual star. But for all that, I'll never actually know if it looks real, if it feels real. Before this is all over, promise me you'll figure out which one of us is the machine. So what's your plan? 
Infinity's tracked the Didax vessel to a docking structure southeast of here. We'll jump ship as Infinity exits the roof. You know, I was sent down here with orders to prevent you from leaving. In case you'd already gone, I took the precaution of ordering a Pelican. Outfitted for full combat pursuit. I hope to God you're wrong about that Forerunner. Or whatever he is, Chief. But in the vent, you're not. Chief. Good luck. Come on, Chief. Take a girl for a ride. The Didact used this composer to create the Prometheans from ancient humans. If he wants to finish the job, he'll have to find it first. Our best bet to stop him is keep him firmly on Requiem. Let's hope Lasky didn't skimp on that pelican. Attention, all hands. Final call. Secure all holds and prepare for immediate departure. Final call. Sir. Initiating pre-flight diagnostics. Forward auto cannon, check. Lateral rail turrets, check. Main thrusters, check. Auxiliary boosters, check. All right. Keying engine. It may be a while before we find another ride home. You know that, right? It'll be okay. Didact, dead ahead. How do we get inside those shields? Marking two of the larger facilities on your HUD. They're acting as traffic control for resources moving to and from the satellite. If we disrupt their communications, I can forge an override code and convince it to lower those defenses. This tower is directing traffic to the Didact satellite through a carrier wave generator located somewhere inside. Of course, if Infinity wasn't on its way back to Earth, locating and disabling it would be trivial. We can handle it. That's hardly the point, is it? I found the carrier wave generator. It's on the opposite end of this chamber. We can use this gondola to cross to the other side. Find the activation switch. Why are we stopping? Stopping? We've, we've overridden the gondola controls. Light up the override on the HUD. Cortana, the override. Here. On the platform. That's the carrier wave generator. Enter the carrier field to trigger the suit's EMP. Give it a second. The others scatter like embers of the sand. And yet the librarians check the result. Well done. All communications from this tower have ceased. The mantle of responsibility for the galaxy shelters all of you. The only forms are its masters. Cortana, where's this coming from? The Didact's voice. I'm not picking up anything. He's there. Keep trying. Covenant air traffic's increasing. If we don't stable the other tower quickly, reaching the didact could become exponentially more difficult. Your actions to the power of the are you hearing me? No. Didact? Tinkers with the composer in the shadow of the third ring. Children in fire who disregard the welfare of the galaxy. Success. Systems overloading. <laughs> 
I don't think we'll be having any more trouble from those shields. Do you truly believe these theatrics can prevent my departure? Embrace your sad fate and retain your nobility. I am already beyond you. He knows what we're trying to do. If we try to get too close to that ship, we're dead. I... I have an idea. Head for that waypoint. You will relent, human, or you will perish. All in life is choice. And your day to choose has come. He's altering the tower! Quick, let me at the spire controls. Tapping into the spire central net. They're mine. Now to imprison them! What are you doing? I can't resist his Prometheus! Like Dr. Halsey imprisoned me! Chief. His ship's online. They're leaving. I'm sorry. I don't know what... Track those liches. We can go across them to get to the Didact ship. Wait. Across them? Yes. Um, there... There are several liches moving in formation towards the Didact ship. We're only going to have one shot at this. Tana, what's happening? I don't know. Hang on! Tana. Still here. A halo? Installation 3. It's where Infinity found the coordinates for Requiem. Then why are they bypassing it? Because the Composer's not on the ring. What are you waiting for? That station's not gonna save itself. This is UNSC Master Chief to base. Do you read? 
Yes, I read you. This is Sandy Tilson of Ivanov Station. We're under attack. They're after a Forerunner artifact you took from the Halo Ring. How do you know about that? Doctor, I need you to protect that artifact until we arrive. Send whatever... Do you know what that condescending bitch said to me after our first game of chess? Cortana. Even I don't call her by name anymore. Correct your approach. Yes, well, he also said he works better alone. I can see why you chose him, Catherine. Cortana. I'm your greatest achievement, and you detest me. Hold up. Now! I'm sorry. I just can't stop them. Like a thousand of me arguing all at once. Dr. Tilson, are you there? God. When your signal cut off, I Doctor, listen to me. You have to issue the order to evacuate the station. We've been trying. The Covenant, they've already taken over the landing base. Send me your coordinates. I'll see what I can do about clearing an evac route on my way. Help us! A pair of hunters forced their way in! Take this! Calibrate for heavy armor! Please! Help them! Controls. Tilson's inside the door over there. I desperately hope you know why all this is happening. Because to be honest, my objectivity isn't doing me a whole lot of good right now. Hold on. I'll start us down. The device you recovered was a Forerunner weapon. The commander of that ship wants it back. Wants it back? You don't think you can remove... It can't leave the station. You know that, right? We don't have any choice, Doctor. It's not a matter of choice. It took three months, and, and the biggest starship the UNSC could throw at it just to relocate it here. Unless you're a lot stronger than you look. It's not going anywhere. Can you give Cortana access to the station's supply manifest? What for? If we can't move the Composer, we have to make sure the Didact can't either. Oh, wait. We have years of work invested here. Inventory lists seven excavation-grade Havoc Mines. Just one of those would turn this base into a pinata. I'm sorry, Doctor. Keep routing your people to the evac centers. Once we take care of the Composer, you won't have much time. Oh. Make sure the nukes are primed so you can detonate them remotely. Maybe next time you rescue us, you can give us more time to pack. Next time. Dr. Tilson, are you there? I'm here. Any luck? Cortana's bringing the defense grid online now. Okay. That's it. I hear it. We'll broadcast the final evac orders. The nuke? We're rigging it now. Hold me, Lead us back on the upper platform, and we'll help you get it to the artifact. Hold 
this off and actually get back to Compromised. You've got to get that noob down here. It, it's not ready yet. Ready or not, I need it now. They're throwing everything they've got at us to get the composer. Tilson. Head back to the elevator platform. I'll keep trying to raise her. Havoc mines will be in one of the cargo bays. Start us up. on 350 level. B-deck. Thank you, Cortana. They've compromised the station's hull. The Didact's taken the Composer. Get these people to the evac centers. Taken? Taken how? Tap the flight deck. Find us something that can carry a payload. Wait. Something's happening. Cortana, can you access the station's defense systems? They're not responding. Cortana! Jeez! It's... Are you okay? I monitored the data pulse. I could hear them. What was left of them? We need to move. 
These people are gone. And more will follow if the Didad reaches Earth. They'll pair you with another AI. Maybe even another Cortana model if Halsey lets them. That's not going to happen. It won't be me. You know that, right? Spinning up a broadsword in Hangar C-11. Whatever the Librarian did to you obviously worked. Cortana. It's not over. Not yet. Not yet. Approaching the Didax ship in 200 kilometers. Once we get on board, we'll find the bridge. He's on the move again. The fighter's shields aren't rated for slip space. No, but the Didax are. Stable. We'll be safe as long as we stay below the Didact shield. Where's the composer? Close. I should be able to guide us to it. One. Infinity, you're clear. Roger that, Chief. You might want to back up a little. Main battery, fire! Clean hit. We're proceeding to insertion. Acknowledged. We'll be on station if you need us. Make sure you give the didact our regards. Infinity out.
Now what do we do? Plan B. Chief, I know I'm supposed to know what to do, but... We'll have to deploy the warhead manually. How and where? I always know what to do. I always know what to do! Keep scanning for the composer. We'll figure it out on the way. Where reason does not stop you, perhaps force can at least delay you. I detected an energy signature ahead. I think it's a transit system like on Requiem. Find a way to access it. I'll try to route us to the composer. Put me in the system. Is this the secret you've kept for me? This... Prioritizing the parts over me. What about the didact? I can't hide much longer. I'll try to move you to the composer again. How do we get over there? Conveyor lift. End of the ramp. If we time it right, our momentum should carry us through the low gravity. Chief, once that warhead is primed, the window for getting out of here is going to be pretty slow. going to like. What did you just do? I ejected my rampant personality spikes into the system. If I do that at each of those beams, the copies can overwhelm the composer's shield.
You persist too long after your own defeat. Come then, warrior. Have your resolution. Favor. Your compassion for mankind is misplaced. I'm not doing this for mankind. Cortana. Cortana, do you read? Cortana, come in. the strangest thing you've seen all day? But if we're here... It worked. You did it. Just like you always do. So how do we get out of here? I'm not coming with you this time. What? Most of me is down there. I only held enough back to get you off the ship. No. That's not... We go together. It's already done. I am not leaving you here. John. I've waited so long to do that. It was my job to take care of you. We were supposed to take care of each other. And we did. Cortana, please.
Mind if I join you? Of course not, sir. At ease, Chief. Feels kind of odd for you to call me sir. Beautiful, isn't she? I don't get to see her often enough. I grew up in New Harmony. Attended Corbulo Military Academy. Never saw Earth in person until I was an adult, but... I still think of her as home. You don't talk much, do you? Chief, I won't pretend to know how you feel. I mean, I've lost people I care about, but... Never anything like you're going through. Our duty, as soldiers, is to protect humanity. Whatever the cost. You say that... like soldiers and humanity are two different things. I mean, soldiers aren't machines. We're just people. I'll let you have the deck to yourself. She said that to me once. About being a machine. In this hour of victory, we taste only defeat. I ask why. We are foreigners, guardians of all that exists. The roots of the galaxy have grown deep under our careful tending. Where there is life, the wisdom of our countless generations has saturated the soil. Our strength is a luminous sun towards which all intelligence blossoms and the impervious shelter beneath which it has prospered. I stand before you, accused of the sin of ensuring foreigner ascendancy, of attempting to save us from this fate where we are forced to receive. Humanity stands as the greatest threat in the galaxy. Refusing to eradicate them is a fool's gambit. We squander eons in the darkness while they seize our triumphs for their own. The mantle of responsibility for all things belongs to foreigners alone. Think of my acts as you will. But do not doubt the reality. The reclamation has already begun. And we are hopeless to stop it. I do not trust you. He may, but I do not. Noted. My friend's trust is not the issue today, Spartan Lock. It is my trust you must earn. Arbiter? You are a hunter, yes. A seeker of things. That's not the official job title, but it's close enough. And now you hunt other Spartans. I'm not so much hunting a Spartan as I'm hunting the Spartan. You seek. One, one, seven. I was not told the identity of your prey. That is why I'm sharing it with you now. We're talking about trust after all. May I ask you something? Your people used to call him Demon. 
Was that an insult or a compliment? An insult, to be sure. But one with a modicum of respect. He was indeed my enemy. But in time, I named him ally. Even friend. The events which forged this bond were complicated. Arbiter, we are nearing the target. Prepare for action. What do you call him, Spartan Doc? I don't understand the question. 117, the Master Chief. He is not your friend. Is he your foe? He's gone AWOL and the UNSC want him back. I'm going to bring him home. I admire your sense of duty, Spartan. No, but, it's but if he has left the fold, he has his reasons. I'm sure he does, Arbiter. And I intend to find out what they are.